For 85 years, Clay County Electric has powered our community with a legacy of excellent service. And now you get power and connectivity with the same great service you've come to expect. Clay County Connect brings the world to your fingertips with reliable, affordable, high-speed broadband internet. The best part? You get the same great local service that has defined us for decades. To learn more on how we can best serve you, visit us online or call 870-857-3521. Let's give it up for Leonard's Paintless Dent and Windshield Repair. This is Eric Leonard's second year sponsors here at CSR. Call or text Eric for all of your automotive glass needs, rock chip repairs, windshield replacement, glass replacement, and headlight restoration. They accept insurance and are mobile. Hey, they serve all of the Clay County and surrounding areas. So call or text Eric today at 870-323-0100. Four one. Eric wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. He says, go Bobcats, go. Malone Custom Designs has a new spot downtown, and we'd love for you to come by. With our laser engraving machines, we can personalize almost any gift in our store. We do caps, knives, keychains, tumblers, stickers, decals, business cards, banners, and more. While you're here, consider booking a photography session in our new studio. Visit us at 421 Southwest 2nd Street in Corning and let's make something special. Depression, anxiety, PTSD, and other mental disorders can separate us from the ones we love most. We can feel lost, distant, and detached from our lives. At Affinity Counseling Services, your ability to reconnect with life and loved ones is our priority. We provide in-office and telehealth services at each of our locations in Piggott, Corning, and Kennett, Missouri. Sign up for services now at counselingwithaffinity.com. Hey, a big shout out to Farm Service Incorporated here in Northeast Arkansas out of Corning and Noble. We appreciate them jumping on board with us here at Corning Sports Report. At Farm Service Inc., we strive to provide advanced agricultural technology with quality personalized service right here in Northeast Arkansas and Southeast Missouri. With our selection of brand name products and service technology, you can count on us to help your profits grow. They also want to mention they sell fertilized, chemical, seed, farm supplies, fuel, and offer custom application. Farm Service Incorporated, I want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. You can't be everywhere at once, but we can be anywhere you are. The Anywhere app by First National Bank. Putting you first, always. Clay County Connect is powered by Clay County Electric, bringing high-speed internet to rural communities in Northeast Arkansas. We chose Clay County Connect for our internet service. Number one, it's fiber to the house. Number two, the great local service they provide. We still have local service people right here in our community servicing us when we have trouble. Plus, we have a local office we can walk into anytime and talk to people from our area. For more information, give us a call at 870-202-1990. Here's a familiar face with us here at CSR. How about Jason Horner and Big Iron Auctions? Jason's been with us since the very, very beginning. I want to say thank you, Jason, for all your support here at CSR. He's your independent sales representative. You can get a hold of him at 870-598-4310. Listing equipment in Clay, Green County in Arkansas, and Butler and Ripley County in Missouri. Again, that's Jason Horner with Big Iron Auctions, 870-598-4310. Jason wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Let's give it up to the Solaces, our friends Jerry, Rhonda, and Michael with Solace Grain Bins and SNL Irrigation right there in Corning, Arkansas. Been in business 40 plus years. Grain bins and related accessories, sales and service, complete irrigation installation. And in 2019, Michael became the third generation to continue to provide these services to their customers. Get a hold of them at 870-857-3086. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. That's Solace Grain Bins and SNL Irrigation. Well, 
all of us at Coin Sports Report want to say thank you to Cindy and Matt Woolard and Woolard Flying Service out of Corning, Arkansas. You can get a hold of Woolard Flying Service at 870-857-3839. Of course, they're there at the airport, 108 Airport, Highway 980 in Corning. And Matt and Cindy, huge hog fans, which we always love, but even bigger Corning Bobcat fans. We appreciate their support here at CSR, and we appreciate all they do for the city of Corning. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck. Next up on the CSR sponsor video slideshow, Red Taylor Ford out of Corning, Arkansas. Hey, they've been family owned and operated since 1977. How about that? Right there off of 2nd Street, uh, right off the main drag there in Corning, Arkansas. Get a hold of them, 870-857-3516. Red Taylor Ford in Corning, Arkansas, offering new Ford cars, trucks, SUVs, and crossovers. Visit them online at www.redtaylorford.com. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck. I want to give a big thank you to Mr. Kirk Scobie in Shelter Insurance out of Corning, Arkansas. Hey, yes, your agent. He can help you make sure you get the right coverage at the right price while providing the quality service you expect. Feel free to give him a call to discuss your insurance options today. That's Kirk Scobie at 870-857-3211. It's auto, it's home, it's life, but it's much more than that. Kirk wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Let's give a shout out to our new sponsor, NEA Veterinary Clinic out of Corning, Arkansas. Hey, NEA Vet Clinic is a full service animal hospital that welcomes patients for routine medical, surgical, and dental care as well as emergency treatments. Dr. Ginger Seagraves has over 20 years of veterinary experience, including regular pet wellness, diagnosing, and treating severe conditions beyond first rate pet care. They make their clinic comfortable, kid friendly, and calm so your pet can relax in the waiting room and look forward to meeting our veterinarians. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, reach them at 870-857-5050. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. You'd be hard pressed to find bigger Bobcat fans than these two right here. Jim and Sandy Davis of JSD Cattle Ranch. I want to thank JSD Cattle Ranch for jumping on board with us again. Multiple years of support. Uh, we really, really appreciate them. And, uh, they love us here at CSR, and we love them, too. Uh, Jim Davis, uh, we appreciate you, buddy, for helping out with this uh, for the third, actually probably fourth year in a row. So thank you so much. JST Cattle Ranch, go Bobcats. Let's give a shout-out to Harold Implement Company out of Corning, Arkansas. Harold Implement is a proud supporter of the Corning Bobcats, family-owned and operated in Corning, since 1946, we are your one-stop shop for all things Polaris, Bad Boy, Ace Hardware, Yamaha Off-Road, and hunting supplies. Again, give them a call, 870-857-3931. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. Harold Implement Company. Let's give it up for our new sponsor this year, Southern Breeze Heating and Cooling, LLC. You see Mr. Wes Dollar and Danny Reed there on your screen. We appreciate those two guys, the owners there, commercial, residential, whatever it may be. These are your guys. No matter how hot it gets, how cold it gets, you've got an option here. Call Wes at 870-450-3900 or Danny, 870-323-2057. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Midwest Auto Parts has been a family-owned business in the heart of Corning since 1946, when it was established at 301 West 1st Street by Thomas and Bernice George, Midwest has and continues to serve the citizens of Corning and surrounding communities with the dependable parts and service. From auto parts and paint, hydraulic hoses, heavy duty truck, farm tractor, and power unit parts, Midwest probably has what you need. From five generations of former and current Bobcats, Midwest Auto Parts says, Go Bobcats! Get a hold of them, 870 857. 3084. From all of us here at Corning Sports Report, we want to give a special shout out and a huge thank you to Miss Lisa Jett, Mr. Joe Jett, and the entire Jett family for being our primary sponsor this year at Corning Sports Report. Uh, these fine folks have, have done it all for the city, the, the high school, the athletic programs, and also us here at CSR. Always giving, always helping out in any way they can. 
we want to say thank you and we're excited to watch those little ones grow up and uh, future Bobcats. Uh, we cannot wait. Again, big thank you to Miss Lisa Jett and Joe Jett and the entire Jett family. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. When your equipment needs service, you can rest easy knowing Legacy Equipment will handle all the heavy lifting, literally. Purchase a John Deere 1 through 4 Series tractor from Legacy Equipment and you'll receive free pickup and delivery for life. That's right, no trailer, no problem. With Legacy Equipment, you get the convenience of keeping your compact tractor in tip-top shape without having to lift a finger. Just one more way Legacy leads. Find out more at LegacyEquipment.com. Hands-on Learning Therapy Services out of Corning, Arkansas. We are here for your child. Hands-on Services provide speech, physical, occupational, and developmental therapy to children birth through 21 years of age. Our dedicated staff of therapists ensure each child receives the individual attention and quality of therapy he or she deserves. We provide services in the clinics, the daycares, and home settings. You can get a hold of Hands-On Learning Therapy Services at 870-520-8761. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Let's give a big thank you to Kate Pharmacy out of Corning, Arkansas, multiple time sponsor here with the Corning Sports Report, located right here off of 500 North Missouri Avenue in Corning. Their pharmacy provides a number of services, including free delivery inside the city limits, very short wait times, compliance packaging options, a convenient drive through 24 hours, prescription services, vaccinations, diabetic shoes, and many, many more. Get hold of them at 870-857-6766. They'll wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season, Kate Pharmacy. How about my friend Matt Anders, a Corning High School alumni, and he's working with the Baker Implement Company now. They were established in 1938. How about that? They jumped on board with us here for the second year in a row. We sure appreciate Matt and all the fine folks there. Listen, 13 locations to serve you. Matt works there at Kennett, but have 13 of them throughout Arkansas and Missouri. They're your local case IH dealer. Get a hold of Matt and the fine folks are at Kennedy at 573-888-4644. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. A big shout out and thank you to Mr. Jared Lowe and all the fine folks there at Serenity Ridge Pet Crematory. Uh, this ain't their first time with us, and we certainly appreciate their repeat business and jumping on board with us. The fine folks there at Pig at Arkansas. Serenity Ridge Pet Crematory is now offering pet cremation services through local veterinarian clinics. Call your local vet to see if they offer our service. Several of them around here do, not just there in Pigott, but several around Missouri and Arkansas. If you lose your pet at home, give us a call at 1-888-286-3469 for arrangements. That's Serenity Ridge Pet Crematory. First up on our CSR sponsor video slideshow is Ms. Kimberly Scroggins and Scroggin Associates in Corning, Arkansas. Tax and bookkeeping services, 20 plus years of experience. And Ms. Kim was the owner operator there. You can call 870-857-3765. That's their office and ask for her, ask for Kimberly there. If you don't mind, again, Scroggin Associates in Corning, 20 plus years of service, 870-857-3765. I love Kimberly's photo here. She's had this on here for a few years, a beautiful picture. Uh, very family oriented, and we sure are with you this year, Kimberly. We love you, and if there's anything we can do, please let us know. That's Kimberly Associates, 870-857-3765. She wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on this season. Hey guys, it's Andy Earls here at Baldwin Chevrolet, and when I'm not here giving you these uh, CSR live streams live in person, I'm at my full-time job there at Baldwin Chevrolet, Popper Bluff, Missouri. And we have four lots full of new and pre-owned inventory. And I'd love the opportunity to earn your business. The majority of the vehicles on those four lots are backed by a lifetime warranty at no charge to you. That's right. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage. You can service it anywhere you'd like. A legit deal there. A lifetime warranty that covers your powertrain, engine, transmission, drivetrain assembly for as long as you own the vehicle. Take away. Welcome to Corning Field for the Lady Cats softball. It's a rainy afternoon. We're hoping the rain holds off a little bit as Corning plays host to Pickett. 
Up to bat first is Blasco, number 22. Goodman on the mound for Corning at pitching. Of course, we've got Zimmer behind the plate. Smith at third, Martin at first. Barker at second. There's a pop up out of play into the ditch. Strike one, the count's one and one. And it's raining. We're trying to get this, at least get this varsity game in because it's a conference game. Ball two, low. As you can probably hear the rain, we're in the canopy. Ball three, three and one to count. Just sprinkling right now. Oh, there's a hit to shortstop. Townsend picks it up, throws, cross, out at first. Good stretch by Martin. It's going to bring up Langley. Strike one. Goodman's dialed in now. Let's see what she does with this one. There's a line hit out to the, oh, out to, out to left field, over the left fielder's head. Left fielder picks it up, throws it in. Hits it in. Langley with a stand-up triple. Watch the ball, watch the ball. You have got to pay attention. We've got to pay. Here she comes. Here she comes. Oh, here she comes. Well, she's going to score because we're not paying attention. Let's go, we're not paying attention, and Langley scored on the overthrow. Didn't hit our cutoff man in the outfield. Didn't hit our shortstop. Two errors on the play. Scores one to nothing. Going to bring up Rathel. R-A-T-F-E-L, Rathel. Ball one. Ball might be hard to hang on to with the rain. The boys' game's been canceled. The boys' baseball game's been canceled. Strike one. One and one's the count. Goodman looks in. Foul ball, strike two. like thunder. Foul balls. Still strike two as Rathel stays in there. Brantley's on deck. Ballheim makes the count two and two. All three balls probably getting hard to hang on to. I think you're right, uh, Rich. I think it definitely is. Um, yep. Not easy in this, this scenario. but Three in a row that were really high. As Rafael goes to first, it's going to be Brantley. Come on, Townsend. Can't catch the ball and draw it off. Mike Townsend brought us all a hot dog. 
How sweet. Yeah. What a nice guy. Three knows to count. We'll have to split it three ways. <laughs> Mike, I, I, I wouldn't listen to anything they say about you when you're not around, bud. I think you're a great there guy. There we go. There's a strike, but it's going to be a foul oh. ball out of play. Off to the left. Out into the woods. At least Goodman will get a dry ball now. Three and one's a count. One That's out. One way to do it. Runner at first. Brantley up to bat. How are you? Oh, what's your phone? <laughs> I don't know who's it. There's a hit. It's going to be going to drop in center field. Right, good, good throw in there from center right there. Really quick. Got it on one hop. It's just short enough that she couldn't. Yeah. Couldn't get to it. Yeah. Not the best day for softball, but any day's a good day, I guess, mm -hmm. huh? Any day's a good day, my friend. This is not good weather. It's Miss Redmond up to bat. Strike one. Runners at second and third, or second, first and second. Sorry. Ooh. Oh, right up the middle. Go little. Go four, go four, go four. Here's the throw, and it holds. Great runner. job. Good, job. Good throw. Great job. Good Watch job. the replay here. Who do we have? I didn't, who do we have out in center? That's Zimmer. Z Kylie Good job, Zimmer. young lady. Why did he get it in there? Watch the replay here. Kylie Zimmer. That throw was on a dime. Right on the dime, yep. It really was. Everyone's up for the play at home. One out. Base is loaded. Ball in the dirt. Runners stay put. This is Wade. Number 14, Wade. Give me that water right there. This me? Yep. A little high. Bring count two and oh. You can probably hear the uh, the rain uh, on the headsets here. And I think I agree with Rich. Uh, Rich alluded to it earlier. I think it's I think it's affecting the pitching uh, of Goodman. Obviously, you got a really wet ball. It's tough to get a grip on that thing. It's already hard enough to throw that thing as it is. Yes, but it is. Okay, ball four. Going to walk one in here. This is one of those games where it's definitely an advantage uh, being the away team. Uh, getting the bat first when it's right. right. <laughs> Watch it calm down when we go to the, go to the plate. She's not able to hang on to it. I would be asking for another ball. I know the umpire doesn't have another ball, but Coach Songer's got two over there they just picked up. There's a good pitch. Oh, a little high, I guess. Michelle Gibson watching. Alexandria Ladyman watching. Miss Becca Barajas watching. We appreciate y'all tuning in with us. This is Coomer. There it is, right down the middle. Is. Two and one's a count. Base is still loaded. This is fun, guys. I kind of enjoy this, man. I really do. I do, too. Being right here in the middle, I'm not getting wet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> y'all be all good back there? <laughs> if you need to come over here, you can. Three and one's a count. Base is loaded. Goodman looks in. Nope. Michael, she's got to change balls that ball's wet timeout oh he's going to change pitchers i don't think that's the problem i think the problem's the wet ball yes sir i believe i'd be asking for one about every other pitch or at least every yep i believe it's about to set in on us yes here. i think so Remember, this is a conference game, conference game, and a rival game on, on top of that. Who are the boys supposed to play today? They we're going to play Westside today. West Side. Um, of course, non-conference, so not as an imperative that you get that one in, but nonetheless. Right. I don't think we're going to win. They get you. I'm going to bring us back just a little sure. bit. A little bit more, not much, but just a little bit. I don't want to cramp anybody. It gets that hot dog closer. <laughs> that gets that hot dog closer. That's I like that. After, isn't it? <laughs> I like that. Hey, if you're tuning in with us, uh, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. If you don't mind, share that feed, tag somebody. Um, 
how about this? You can be at home on a, on a, uh, on a rainy afternoon and watch a little rivalry softball. How about that? Credit to these umpires, too. You know, a lot of times during this time of year, you kind of got to wait on the umpires, but not today. They were both here on time. Right. Early. Yeah. You know, not too bad a crowd for such a rainy day That's here. That's right. Like one to run. Good pitch there by Zimmer. Well, she was, she was swinging out of her shoes on that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. really picked up all of a sudden, didn't it? Yeah, it did, and, and that definitely affects a lot of things. Obviously, if you get anything in the air, that's definitely going to oh, – the yeah. rain's hard enough because you're looking up into the, in the raindrops, uh, and now we've got the lights coming on too. That's another mm -hmm. aspect of that, and like you said, the wind. So, pop flies are going to be an adventure. Good Strike pitch. Two. Got her chasing that one. <laughs> this young lady is not getting cheated out of her swings, though, man. She no, is sir. letting it rip. <laughs> she makes contact. It's going to yeah. be – could be trouble. Oh. Right on that outside corner. How about that? Let's watch this one again on the instant replay here. B E A beautiful pitch. Painted the corner. I got a really long replay. I got to shorten that. Mm -hmm. Two outs, bases loaded. I mean, right on the black of the plate there. Good job. A little high. high. I'm going to go change that right now, actually. All two. I'm like you, Mike. I'd be asking for a new ball every other pitch here if I had to. Yes, sir. I believe I would. Here she comes. No, she don't. Oh, oh I got her caught at second here. Did she not get her? I'm going to say she did not. Now yeah, she did. She Good job, 20 Let's staying watch that after replay day. here. Did, did she get her on the tag, right? Looked to me like Ooh, I it's she close. Did, yeah. It's awful close. Well, then why did she run after she went back to second? Why did she run to third again? I think there was a lot of different voices there between parents, between coaches, between bench, and she just probably kind of easy to do, panicked, and it just it just took off over there. You better eat that hot dog. Uh, Umpire yeah. said, yeah. no, sir. Umpire said fired. the run counted that crossed the plate, so, so that's still four nothing. It takes it four nothing. All right, that rain's coming, so I'm gonna move this this way just a smidgen. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a shirt to cover the audio mixer with. The rest okay. of the stuff I'm not too worried about. The audio mixer. You guys will still be live here. Okay. <laughs> Mike Corning's got the same lineup. Now Zimmer, you're gonna have to move the other side. You keep soaking it's, it's, it's hitting that and then hitting your umbrella and running off on. on. <coughs> Has the rain stopped? Like, An like Andy said, it probably will when we come up yeah. and they're pitchers. Looks like the hard rain is going to go north of us. We're getting ready to get a break here in just a second for a little bit. Maybe for about a 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Throw down. Let's go, Michelle Gibson says, I'm not at home watching, but work. Shh. Couldn't miss a good old rivalry game. I like it, Michelle. Don't let us get you in trouble, though. That's the last thing I want. Kylie. Zimmer up to the light. We are not responsible uh, for any loss of employment. This is Blasco pitching for Piggott. First ball was in the dirt. Man, we've got a real, we're really blessed. This field is amazing. Beautiful, isn't it? Coach oh. Longer's done a great job with it. He really has. I tell you what, it's his baby. He takes care oh, of that yeah. thing. Well, we're the only, we're the only girls softball field that's got grass. 
around our area for sure. I mean, you've got to go a pretty yeah. long way before you start seeing that. Uh, and I even seen the bobcat out. I just now noticed I know. that. I, I, yeah. I'd never noticed that bobcat yeah. before. Ball high, three and zero. Oh. That's a cool thing. Every year, there's always away games that ends up getting played here due to the weather, uh, mm-hmm. the weather, and of course our drainage, the, the grass, uh, the way he keeps it. So kudos to Coach Songer. Ball four, ball four. Coach Songer had her taken that one. We need base runners. Well, especially lead off runner. You always want to get yep. that lead off runner on. Get the second half of the Zimmer duo up. Yep. Eddie Zimmer, she's going to wait on a strike, I bet. Yep. I don't blame her. And, you know, we mentioned it. It was pouring down rain in the top of the first. Now we're at the bottom of the first, and guess what? Just let, let up. <laughs> That's what I said. I, I, while you were gone, I said you called it. Uh, of course. Yeah, when we went to pick it and played, that turned out to be more of a a ball game than what we were hoping. Oh, and that one got away from her. That was nothing intentional there. Just got away from her. You could tell as soon as oh, she threw it, she, she gets, knew. Yeah. She gets hit more than anybody else. I bet. <laughs> Do what? Bullseye. bullseye I How like many times that. she been hit this yeah. year? Crosshairs or bullseye? That's 15. Yeah. It's 15 times. Only 15. Yeah, only 15. Yeah. yeah, the game is not over with yet. <laughs> yep. uh, runners advance in second and third. How about that? Yep. That went right off the umpire's shin. Hopefully, hopefully he's okay there. I would think after the seventh or eighth hit, I'm just I'm just calling. I'm hanging my cleats up. I'm just gonna call it quits. <laughs> she gets hit every game. She's a mutant, yeah. <laughs> Gracie took a good one on the inside. Yes, she did. There at the Harrisburg Harrisburg game here at home. What well, was it Tuesday night yep. last week? Last week. And that's the thing about softball. Your distance from home or from where it released to to home plate is not. I mean, it's quick. You don't have much time to react. No. You know. Strike well, one. Inside corner. No, you don't. You know, if, someone, if someone's got a little ump on that ball, you don't have much time at all. Three and one. Runners on second and third. That's a good take right there. That's easy when it gets eyeball level mm-hmm. to want to just go after it, but it was inside. That would have jammed her. Good take. Well, we we had that problem at the beginning of the year. Yeah. When our when our younger batters were up there and, and the ball was in their – up, up in their eyes, they wanted to swing every time. Yeah. Now, now that we're close to the end of the season, they're they're not they don't chase as much, which is good. Ducks, Pre- ducks on the pond. Watch that! I say that, and then Presley will swing. <laughs> Presley will swing. Mark is up to that. She'll swing over her head here. Hey, but. she's thinking uh right bring up the right bread and mustard. It's green yeah. salami times. What she's thinking oh. right now. That was it right there. Oh. Base is juice. Taking that one. One and one. But now, in fairness, though, she's just watched her walk mm-hmm. two, you know, three consecutive. I don't blame her for taking tail strike. Oh, outside mm-hmm. pitch. Pulled Counts her. one and two. Pulled her head. Base is loaded. Pop, pop up, straight, straight up. Field fly should be. Yep. Out number one. Hey, great job by the catcher there. She immediately got her mask off and looked up. Pitcher was running at, straight at her. Calm, cool, and collectively took that one. Now we got the fastest cat on the team. I'd like to see her clear the bases right Yes, here. sir. How about a bunt infield grand slam? <laughs> oh. That was a little Summer must have ever taken that yeah, first he does. pitch. He does. Has him taking that first pitch. You know, that's, that's just something that I hate to do sometimes. Because you get behind. You get behind quick sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, of course, there's two sides of every fence, too. Oh, you know, yeah. Obviously, she struggled yes. a little bit finding the strike zone here. Obviously, a walk gets in a run here, too. There's, there's a couple different ways, but well, that ball just darted left. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I see both sides of that. I see oh, both yes, sides. Yes, sir. I mean, I, I've done it, too, as a coach. Sure. But it's just yeah. you, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ray Lynn and I bicker back and forth as we coach together <laughs> on that sometimes, you know. <laughs> and, uh, Ball counts two balls, one strike. Base is loaded. One out. Ball in the dirt. Runners, Three and one. Runners stay put. They're not going to make this out here at home with the bases loaded and only one out. Well, well it's tough, too, as a runner because there's a lot of spin on that ball. Then it's hitting the dirt some more spin. You don't know if it's going to shoot left or right or die. It died that time, so obviously she would have been out more than likely. You just never know. It's a tough call. Ball four. Walks in a run. 
Hey, there's yeah. no, no style points in softball. We'll take a run however we can get yeah, it. We yes, do. sir. We do need it. Number eight, Kylie Smith coming up. Kylie Smith has shown promise in the past. She can get a hold of it if she uh, needs to. Nope. Ooh. I wouldn't have wanted her to swing at that. That looked high to me. Kylie does have the ability. She's yeah. put one out at the community league before. And there's Ooh. a good one. Down, down, oh, down, down. Gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go, Gracie. Let's watch that again. I think she was off the base. She was off the bag there. You can't see it on ours, I don't think, but she was off the bag. She was off the bag. Um, again, you can't see it from Safe. ours. Safe. Oh, we overruled. Overruled. Home plate umpire saw that she was off. Michael, good call. Hey, how about Songer coming out there and challenging that, oh, too? Oh, he yeah. saw it. Yeah. Immediately saw it. And so let's get yeah. the score 4 2 now. So it'll be a. Kenley Barker up to bat. And the second baseman did a good job there. She did what you want her to do. She came to the ball, got up and threw it. I just don't think first base realized where she was that, at. Yeah. Right. In there. That was a good throw. Good catch. Yeah. Good throw. It was. I don't have a roster for them, but that was an awesome job. I mean, she tracked that in a hurry. I think it was 13 out in center. Centerfield, that was Ron. I was going to say Ron. It looked kind of looked like yeah. the Ron girl, yeah. That's an excellent – who's pitching right now, just so we know? Uh, Blasco. All right, Blasco's pitching on the bump, and we got Ron out in center. We know that for sure. Two outs. Score is four to two. That was good contact there. Yes, it was. Ball high. This is real work. Sorry, Mike. Oh, you're right. It just – It's tougher with three people. It is. It's tougher. Oh, but we're you, fine. You guys are doing good, yeah. I appreciate y'all's help today, too. Ball two. Blasco has really been working the inside part of the plate on these right-handers. Rain's picking back up again. Of course, we're getting ready to back. <laughs> That's yeah. exactly right. Oh, uh, called that one a strike on the yeah. outside corner. But that was about the same place as that one. That mm -hmm. Two, one count. Foul ball. Well, Songer? Nope. She. <laughs> She was she she almost swung twice there like she yeah. she was just not getting there fast enough for her. She had already made up her mind and almost had to pause and then go through with it again. Man, if she can set back on that though and get those arms extended. It's three two the count now, right? Right. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. Nope. Ball four. Four. Oh no. Oh, is that three two? It's three two now. Uh -huh. Count's full. Coach Hunger says we're going on anything. That's a good pitch there by Velasco. Really is. That's it. That's three. Four two. Corning leaves the bases loaded. Again, she's been working it inside. This is a replay on it right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's there. It drops in. That's probably a strike if she doesn't swing. Right. Of course, two strikes. You want her to swing at that. So that's understandable. We've talked about that all year. I, I want to see him swing and don't let the blue make the call. Don't let the blue make the call. That's Mike's famous saying. <laughs> don't let the blue make the call. All right, we're coming up here now in the, in the booth here. we got Jen and Alec watching, Amanda Goff, Kelly Mahan, Jimmy Leach, Kelly Nickerson, Haley Cox, uh, Miss Monticet watching in Sue Roark, Miss Cherry's watching. Jean uh, Cherry? Yes, Miss Cherry. She's Miss Cherry's to me because she was a teacher when I was younger, so. I don't dare call her uh, Jean at all. Well. Miss Marlon Dolly Thompson. But we got several people watching. Thank you guys for watching. Share that feed if you don't mind for us. I guess I could, could check the YouTube stuff, too. Now, did Blake sing the national anthem he in did. the rain? He, or, yep, or, he did. I and, didn't know if his yep. voice would be too Kathy, fragile. Or, no, Kathy held the umbrella, umbrella up, and Blake sang the national he, anthem. He Another sounded good team, huh? just, I mean, beautiful. Like yeah, Whitney honestly. Houston, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't tell if it was Fergie or Whitney Houston or who it was. I didn't know. Yeah. Blake does a good job. Sorry, guys. Y'all actually called and messaged me, and I never answered it one That's time. That's okay. I, I just wondered. So I didn't know you had a canopy. I didn't know you had a canopy, and I was. I've actually got another one I was going to get for the fans, but they are tougher than I. Uh, it's going to bring up us. Wallace. Wallace is their number nine hitter. All right. Let's take you back out there. Strike. There we right go. There. Yes, sir. Way to start it off right there. Hey, maybe maybe we'll get an inning without the rain. Yeah, the pitch I hope too. so. 
I hope so. Amanda Mahan said, great job, Riley Blasco. Well, Amanda, she did good. Really, honestly, got herself in the jam and got out of it pretty well. Yep. Oh, just a smidge high, maybe. Yep. Good pitch, though. Good yes. pitch to miss. Bobby J. Phillips watching from Oklahoma. And Miss Cherry tuning in with us again. Counts one on one. Ooh, she wanted to swing at that. Yep, one. she did. Just a little bit outside. Parrish is on deck. So hard to lay off that pitch. Yeah. Two ones a count. Outfield plays the pool. Infield, I think regular depth here. Three and one. Rachel, I've got you on. I just want to say, uh, I just want to give you a little shout out real quick. Um, is it 26 years of PA yeah. at yeah. the football? Yeah, uh, 26. You've been uh, doing the Harvest Festival, MCing it for how many years now? I think 28 on the Harvest Festival. 28, I, and then the Fourth of July picnic. How yeah, many years? That was, that was 26. That's I impressive. Started, I started the That's impressive stuff. I started buddy. the uh, the the Fourth of July at the same time I started football out here. That's impressive stuff, buddy. We sure appreciate. I know the community appreciates that. Oh, are you going to take it? I think so. Good deal. I think so. I think I am. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to. Um, it just something that's important to me, obviously, anything with the community, and that's, you know, something I can still be active with the community and do something in a different way. So I, th I think I am. Yeah. I didn't tell Sherry today. I told her I would, actually. I need to holler at her tonight. But, um, yeah, I think I am. John Jett says, thanks for streaming. No, John, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for commenting with us. Let us know where you're tuning in from, too. This is Parrish. Runner stays put. Parrish has got some long arms, some lengthy arms. Well, if she can get that thing extended there. You can never tell on a baseball player if they can hit it far or not. You never, you just never know. You know, you think, well, that, this person's bigger. There we go. Maybe they got bigger legs, whatever. But a lot of times it's, the, it's those kids with the long arms. If they can ever get that thing all the way around. Get that momentum going. Yes, and she's definitely got it. There we I go. I was to say that one better. That's a good pitch right there. Painting that outside corner. Yep. That's where that's almost the same pitch as 3-2. Uh, 3-2 pitch was a little bit further out, but she likes that outside corner. So Blasco's been going in, 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 in. Zimmer's been going out, out, out. Nope. Good there stop. There she goes. Stop. There she goes. Tagger, tagger. Wow. Are you serious? Woo. Let's get the replay. Okay. Holy hay bells. What a play. Watch yeah. this. Slid into Gracie's ankle. Mm. Good job, girls. Wow. Yep. From her Plenty. knees. Plenty of, from her knees, plenty of time. Townsend made the tag, got slid into. Released the cannon, my goodness. Mm -hmm. She didn't get spiked, thank goodness. Oh, 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 oh. are you kidding me? <laughs> Two plays in a row. Let's watch the replay on that one. <laughs> oh. You want to talk about hot corner? Mm -hmm. That is the mm -hmm. definition of hot corner right there. This is Langley up to bat. She's got that the pocket, the, the hot pocket of the glove there. Yeah. <laughs> Man, what a great defensive effort here in this inning from the Bobcats. Oh, a little high. Who's two, who do we got here? Is that Langley? Langley, okay, Langley. Blasco was the one that hit it to third. That's her their pitcher. Christy Varva watching. Jen and Allen, Spike Jones, Olivia Balschlicker. Thank y'all for tuning in with us. Yeah, my oh, that was, she is. That's right. We're. She's working, I mean, like an artist, just, just stroking the corner of this mm. plate right now. One and one, two it's not, outs. It's not easy in these conditions either. No, and we need to get out of this inning with no run score. Right. And, and get back up to bat. Where will we go? We're going to be up to the top of our lineup within, what, two run, two batters? Two, two batters, yeah. yep. So we need to get uh, – <laughs> Langley. Get, I heard you. Langley was definitely sitting fastball on that one. Oh. They hit the – Get it. Oh, Good job. What? Nice reaction there. Nice. Hey, reaction. great job. Hey, right I like there. the way she set herself. Yes, she Calm, did. Calm collect down. herself. Yes. Let's she watch had, that again. She had plenty of time. She kind of, like, like, like Mike said, she collected herself, knew she had time. Don't rush it. Don't. There you go. She That's let, beautiful. She had gave Presley enough time to get over there and get set up. That too. Yeah. That yep. too. That's right. Take care of your first baseman. I like it. Well, that was three really good defensive plays back to back to back. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Man. That's what we needed. Give them, give them a little pep. Too. Yeah, a little pep. In tough conditions. And we didn't talk about uh, who do we have playing short? Townsend. Gracie okay. Townsend. She did a great job of covering. Now, when that ball got away, sometimes you say, oh, well, she's got second. No, she yeah. went and did her job. She went and covered yeah. and, got, and applied the tag. That's well, she awesome stayed, stuff. She stayed right in there, and she got slid into. She she woke up or got up 
limping. <laughs> yeah, she got knocked out. She woke up. No, she got up limping a little bit, but to stay in there and uh, to take the slide. Oh, Joyce Huckabee says she's watching. Uh, Stephanie Jones said, "Great defense, ladies." I, I I echo that. Matt Carpenter watching. Oh, Matt could uh could swing a bat for sure. Phyllis Young. Yeah, Matt. Oh, Matt. Matty C. See Coach Daniels here. Him and Coach Songer with the Bobcats. I don't who, who's coaching uh, who's coaching softball for. I don't even know for Piggott. For Piggott, I can't even. I don't. I don't know. But well, one of one of them's one of the ladies that does the basketball. Oh, the assistant. Yeah. She's extremely nice. If I, I think I know who you're talking about, I don't know her name, but and she's they've extremely got a, nice. And they've got a gentleman that helps her in in this. I don't. I don't know. You yeah, Derek Castro coming up to the plate. Somebody corner. earlier yeah. was watching uh, Amanda Mayhem. Maybe she. Well, yeah. She's played for us on league ball and played for us last year junior high. We call her Yachty. Yachty. She's oh, a, nice, nice. I can't think of anything more Okay. One now, and one. Now, did y'all call her that because if a fight breaks out, you want to be behind her? Is that why? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> She's got the passion that's, like Yachty. That's right. I like it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you went after that high one See, there a little bit. That's what happens when you wait on the strike. Yeah. Yes, sir. You think you've got to hit that next one. Well, I tell you, it's so hard at that eye level, though. It really is, man. When you're at this age, you because your eyes get big, you can see it better. Oh, well, that was it. Ah! Good job. Hey, I tell you what, it's uh, in all the years of coaching girls softball, it seems like that high ball is the hardest thing to oh, break yeah. from. Yeah. yeah. And they all do it. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It's, they it's, all do it's, it. Uh, there's a man to help us. That's Madison Haley over there. I can't see her, but I know she's over there. I trust that she's over there. Miss Madison Haley, the coach of uh, Piggy here. Thank you, Amanda. We appreciate that. Top of the order for Corning. Let's do some damage right here. We need to at least do two runs damage here. Remember the first three batters didn't even, I don't think, even swung the bat, if I'm mistaken. But they've seen several pitches now, second time around the lineup. I sure want to stay up on them. You know, when we went to Piggy, it, it was just back and back forth. Back and it forth, was, yeah. Almost, we uh, we shut them down kind of in that last inning. It was the only thing. Yep. <laughs> Open stance from Zimmer. There you go. Oh, oh right to her. Good defense there by Pig. I tell you, it's good hit, just better defense. It's just right else. to her. You can't, uh, nope. can't do anything about that. It even sounded good. Mm -hmm. It sounded like it hit the sweet spot there. Of course, any ground ball is going to die in the grass, obviously, so that's going to help these infielders out a little. Good eye. Low for ball one. On a dry day, that might have scooted a little bit further, mm -hmm. a little bit harder of a hop there, but she handled it well. Ball high. 2-0. and oh. Now, the train horn is always a distraction. Oh, yeah. I would almost call time just to get it, just to get out of the box. I don't want to hear that while I'm trying to bat and focus. 3 0, two outs. They know we've got a softball game going on. <laughs> Gosh. Ball high, ball four. There's our base runner. How about a little two out rally here for the Bobcats? That's, That's what we need. Up. Ava Goodman up to bat. She's got the hot glove. Let's get her the hot bat now. Yep, that's right. She had that hot glove at third. Man, you ain't a kid, dude. She... If that had been me at third on that, it had been self-defense. Just... <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's whatever I can do to survive. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Fetal position, whatever. <laughs> Tuck and roll. About, got about 20 minutes before this big one hits us here. Oh, high pitch. One and one. Now, is there a rule in high school softball if you get through, say, four innings, five innings? Is it? Is it you know, I don't know. For I don't sure. know. You'd have to ask Coach Townsend because I don't know. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't coached in years. We never had that problem in the junior high when I coached. <laughs> so, I tell you, Zimmer's almost daring them to throw down to first here. I like this. Is there a rule on how many innings you got to play before? Get, get down. Get down. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, and they had a little miscommunication mis there between the shortstop and the pitcher. We were able to get on base. I'd say that's a tough play for the pitcher. you got to come off yep. that bump, go back over it, and then over the shoulder, which is the hardest play in any sport. I don't care. Yep. 
in football, catching over the shoulder, in, mm -hmm. in baseball, softball, I, it's so hard. I thought that was second base's ball. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I felt like second base should have been calling that all the way, you know. We think it's four innings, and it'll be a full game if it rains up. Four innings four is what we think. Okay. Go, go. Uh oh, oh. Get down. What a throw. Yes. Oh, yeah. Safe. I'm going to tell you, that was a heck of a throw. Who's that back behind the plate here? She's got number four like Yachty. Yeah, heck of a throw, young lady. Well, I'll tell you what, these catchers have got a cannon on them today for both teams. What number did you say she was? Four. Oh, four. Ball in the dirt. That's Rathel. 2-1. Okay. Jay Rathel, okay, good job, young lady. Man, I know I know they didn't get the out, but still, it was a heck of an effort. Third baseman was turned wrong. Boom, There's that's into the gap. Yeah. Yes, sir. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Oh, got got her. Her. Let's watch the replay uh -oh. here. I think coach is a little it's because she Damn. stuttered at third is it was was the deal. Yeah, she she tried to get her footing there, rounding third, and, and uh, that little bit of stutter there got her. We got back closer, got a run back. Robert. You're being paged. And we're going to the third inning now. Kelly Mann's watching. Darlene Thompson, Phyllis Young. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Big crowd from Piggott coming over. The corn crowd started filling in a little more now that the rain stopped. Good. Yeah, yeah. We've got the faithful. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. I like it. And actually, a lot of people have been, I've noticed when I went back out there to get some stuff, a lot of people are out there in their vehicles, too, uh, watching from afar. So Dick, Dick Wall's over there in his Gilligan's Island hat. Have you noticed that? How about that? that? Yep. Coach Walls, I love that man. Yes, sir. He's a fine man. Love that man. Darlene Thompson was watching. Let's see if there's anything on YouTube real quick just to make sure. Appreciate you guys jumping on board with us today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see here. Anybody that uh, said anything on? Nope, nothing on YouTube. Several people watching, just no comments there. We don't get as many comments on that one. Rich, where we at in the lineup mm -hmm. for Piggott? About midways, best I remember, maybe? Or? I think we're at number three, three, four, and five now. Which is that number four? Yep, three, four, and five. Okay. Rathel, Brantley, Redmond. Go down. <laughs> on the spot on these throws mm -hmm. uh, during action or even on throwdowns. I mean, she – I would not be testing her if I'm uh, if I'm Coach Haley and company. That's huge when you got someone like that back here behind home plate that can – Well, you've got this – Diffuse this, the, the base twin, running. You've got the twin combo here. Yeah. These girls have played with each other forever. That's awesome. I love that. Good right. pitch. Good pitch right there to Rathel. Right down the middle. It's the Zimmer to Zimmer. Yep. The dynamic duo. Yep. Zoom, zoom, baby. I love it. Zim, zim. She's got four different pitches. Mm -hmm. Yep. She's got four different pitches. In the dark. Oh. Did she go? Oh, we're on me. Oops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> It'd help you guys see the game, huh? <laughs> sorry. Counts one and one. A little high. Mm, a little high. We got one of our runs back that inning. Yep. We just need yeah. to hold them here. Need another one, two, three like we had. Yes, sir. Yeah, we got some storms on the way, so let's try to get through these innings. We've been told maybe four is the uh, official. Three ones account. Mark for the game to be official. Got the lights on here at Lady Bobcat Field. The field that Songer built. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Jerry's there pastor. Oh, oh, oh. Let's come on, Yachty. Yachty, Yachty. Great yes. job. Woo! Wow. She was on that one from the time it left yes, the back right there. That is not uh, that is not easy out there. You're battling the lights. Probably still a little bit of rain coming down. The ball's wet. I mean, there's so much stuff. The, the grass is wet out there. Awesome job out there in right. That'll bring us to one out. Brantley up to bat. Good pitch. One. Laura Brantley. I think it's Laura. Is it now is this Laura is this Laura Brantley's daughter? Laura and Chris Brantley's daughter? I don't know. She's a heck of a ball player, so a little light and in the distance. Ball. I think it is. It, it certainly looks like her. She is a, a darn good ball player. 
Um, hey, uh, just just thoughts and, and prayers, obviously, out to the Brantley family, too. I know Chris still battling uh, mm -hmm. what he's battling. That's a, just a, a wonderful family, just an unbelievable family. Good oh, pitch. Good pitch right there. Here comes the rain. I think we're about to get popular again, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so start squeezing it in tight. <laughs> And when does it come? When we're pitching. When pitching. we're pitching, <laughs> oh, yeah. of course. But I'm afraid when this happens, it, it's not going to let up the way it looks. No. Nope. Well, this may be here a while. I saw there's Ooh. lightning. I figured yeah, they're going to oh, call he, that. Yeah. He, he almost did. He almost did. I figure after this batter. There we go. That's Two a good ups. pitch right there. That was in the heart of it there. I tell you, Zimmer isn't messing around. She's going right at these batters. Yes, sir. Redness, she always does when she's on. I mean, she has days where she's not on. Well, everybody. Course, everybody, everybody, everybody yeah. yeah. There you go. Coach Hunger will soon to pitch while it's raining. Oh. That's right. Yeah. That's the old Dave Van Horn. What, what, just a little rain. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> nope. That's a good slide down there. Keep it in front of her. Yeah, there's nobody on base right now. Not a big deal right now, but it's you want to get good habits. So yes, sir. Keep good habits. Good pitch. Yes, wow. you, you can tell when that that was going to go from left to right right there. Guess I better quit Man. calling them before they ever get there. Huh? <laughs> yeah. But you can tell that from uh -huh. the, the time it left. Two strikes, two outs. Foul ball. Great play by yeah. Coach Haley. Good job, yeah. Barehanded. You don't see Coach Stronger barehand him. You know? he, <laughs> he, puts his, he puts his foot down Ooh. there. You know? He don't barehand him. Okay. Coach, if you go back and listen, to uh, that, was, that was Rich Martin that said that. Not. <laughs> Let's get this out right here and get up to bat. Yep. Good, oh, good stop. stop. Yep. <laughs> Do you she see that? Just out. got it in her hand there. I tell you that slide deal there with catching, that is so hard to teach kids to do. You either mm -hmm. have that or you don't almost. You almost kind of learn on your own. It's Some kids are better at it and some just aren't. It's just instinct. Yes. And, oh, look, there you go again. Wet ball. Full count. Switch balls. There we go. Good job there. That's what I would have done. I used to tell my catchers, I said, you're the only one that knows where the ball's going. As it comes to you, you know, you're yep. the only one mm -hmm. know. Big pitch right here. Oh, ball four. Oh. That one had too much grip on it. Yeah. <laughs> this is Wade, number 14. You know this guy over here on coaching first. He's the other guy that helps her. I don't know. There's a Boy, outside. he does look familiar. I cannot. He does look familiar. I but can't I get a name, though, is. but he does look familiar, yeah. We've seen him a time or two. Uh, Amanda, if you're still watching, Amanda Mann. Mahan was helping us out earlier. Maybe she could help us. Or Madison Ron maybe knows. First base coach for Piggott. Watch her, watch Great her, watch job her. right there. Kept yeah. it in front of her. Smother yeah. it. Keep it in front of you. He I was looking down, or right? would have. I think we'd have been ball, guys. I think so. I think so. A little lightning in the distance. <laughs> he just, you see, Kay, he didn't even try to bury him. No, 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 do not. Go back, go back to your position. Okay. Hold on, then, Time. The there we go. Now the rain's kind of lit up. There she goes, there oh, she goes, oh. hold it. She did everything she could there. Oh, yes, I mean, sir. everything she could. You're right. Did everything. Good effort. Good there. effort. <clears throat> oh, our camera over there for some reason. Plays it first. Let's just get this down. Two balls, one strike, two outs. Top of the third. No. Oh, hard to hang on. What time. a snack. Swap balls. That one never had a shot. And they don't even make an effort to pick up that ball. 
And boy, I tell you what, those balls will start soaking up that water, and then mm -hmm. it just... Oh, you know if it goes in the ditch or whatever and just oh. the three seconds it's in there, you might as well... That is just... Clinton Haley on first, the coach's yeah. husband. There we go. So we got the Haley's. There good pitch, go. good pitch. Hi, three, two. Three, two. You want to test a marriage? Uh, redo a house together, remodel a house together, or coach together? That'll or, definitely uh, <laughs> or, or, or work cattle together. That's right, and that'll definitely <laughs> test it. So the Haley's marriage must be pretty strong for them to be able to do this. So. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's okay. That's okay. That's all right. We're 24, this is Molly Coomer. We had a place to put her, so we're not hurt, yeah. really. Two yeah. outs. This final out has been the toughest one to get. Thank you, Amanda, for helping us there. <clears throat> Rivalry day here. This is a conference game. They're probably going to try to squeeze in a junior game after this, but. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, right after. Are you staying? I, I will stay if that's a good case. pitch. Yeah, I don't mind staying. Um, someone did tell me about that. Is there any kids here? Oh, yeah. I yeah, there are. Okay. They're yeah. starting to come in now. Okay. Yeah. Some of the junior girls were over there on the bench before the heavy rain started. Oh, okay. There good it is. pitch. One more. Come on, Kylie. One That's more. That's one and two. Two outs. Top of the third. Coach Haley's saying, hey, wait on the pitch. Calm down a little bit here. She was expecting fastball there. It was definitely off speed. Two and two. Deuces wild here for Piggott. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two runners on. And a run one game. A run one game? Yep, not a one run, but a run one game. There it is. There it is. That, that was it. Great job, young lady. Painting the corner of the plate there. We'll watch this one again. Way to get out of the inning there. And uh, I went down a run. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we'll bring it back over here to us. We appreciate you guys tuning in with us. Big thanks to these guys, Rich Martin, Mike Towns. And they have been really uh, dynamite for our company uh, during the softball season. So uh, big thanks to them. Honestly, couldn't. Rich has carried us in softball for a while now. Mike's jumped on now and helped out. He's done a little I'm bit glad, of everything. I'm glad Mike's jumped yeah. on. I appreciate it. I appreciate the opportunity. No, you do a great job, man. Sound good. Know what you're talking about. And, and, and he's here. He's well, helping. See, Mike, Mike coached junior high. So that helps, some too. Of these, that these helps, too. These girls that are coming up, these, yeah. I, I, I was with these seniors. And there's only four of them on the team, but I yeah. was with them. And, and then Townsend here, he – yeah. He knows these other girls that I don't have a clue Well, that, that's good, too. Obviously, when you're commentating, the, the more you know about these yeah. kids, the better. So, mm -hmm. absolutely. I don't know a thing about this one coming up here, though, to bat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> she's kind of a wild card anyway. Uh, yeah, she is. <laughs> uh, she's going to come through. You watch right here, by golly. She's going to get us going, get a start in this inning. I can feel it. Fastest cat on the team. Mm -hmm. How's that not getting that phone line up there? I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I think it is. Uh, see, that's the thing about cameras versus smartphones. Uh, a camera, you know, we have is like $1,800 cameras. Mm -hmm. Those are like, a, I just buy them used for like $150. Mm -hmm. So it's not so bad then. Not well, too bad at all. Blast goes back on the mound. Townsend up to bat. Bottom of the third. Ball in oh. the dirt. Well, it was actually in the grass. <laughs> yeah, in the grass. <laughs> The catcher didn't catch up the glove. She caught that with her palm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I could hear that, that's going to hurt. Man. Okay. Little high, he said. 2-0. Oh. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, you're right. I think it's kind of quit now. I was, I was, yeah, he a little off speed it, pitcher. He wasn't going to let it two, two go like that. No, this is the same pitcher, right? Yeah, Blasco. Blasco. Okay, I thought so, yeah. They just... This is something, this is, this makes us the different from the rest of them. Coach Songer doesn't allow our girls to wear the pullover, the rain gear. Or the, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You can wear the long sleeve shirt. There we go, ball four. Put that fast cat on the. Hey, you want to talk about. Basin, let's hey, go. The base. Hey, yep. Power on power, speed on speed here. You got a heck of an arm from the catcher here, and you got some wheels but, on first. This will be interesting. Here, let's see what the call is here. Oh, no call. No. I think he already told her when if, she, if you get on, here's what we're doing. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> Sometimes if you bait that throw, yeah. it's the best thing you can do. 
Hey, Ky Kylie Smith had trouble picking up the, the signs from Coach Songer this year. And I guess he did tell her in the in the dugout instead I'll, of. I'll credit Rathel or Rathel. Rathel. I'll credit Rathel though. How many how many softball catchers are throwing down to first these days? I mean, very mm -hmm. few. And she does it with confidence. At least she's yeah. popping up and throwing it down there. I do like to see yes, that. Sir. Mm, inside, a little low. Yeah, Kylie Smith, she's got the potential. She has put a few out, in the, like I said, in the community league out there over the fence. So I'd like to see that right now. Heck, yeah, that would be great. Oh, there she goes. There she, there goes. she goes. Yep. No throw. By the way, that is the tying run at third base now. Get the third on pass ball. That's where we need her. Nice. He's not going to be afraid to send her home. No, sir. We'll see if we uh, but the ball's got to get got to get outside the circle. See if we put the wheels in motion here at first to, to draw a throw. Okay, here we go with the, the sign. The runner on first is the go ahead run for Corning. There here she goes. Go. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that on film? I don't think oh, so, no. no. Oh. I gave you a I gave you an umbrella, Zimmer. <laughs> that was like the Ball worst hurt. spot to be in. Bless her heart. I feel so bad now. Yeah. Kenley Barker up to bat, 3-0. and oh. Ball four. Hey, we can move over if we need to, if that'll help. Yeah. Scooch over. Yeah. There you can go. scooch over. You can scooch over. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't trust y'all anymore. I'm staying away. <laughs> Uh, I don't blame her. <laughs> Base is loaded now. Strike one to see. Roark. Kaylee Roark. Okay. <laughs> Took strike one. Base is loaded. No outs. Cena Hatcher watching from Jonesboro. Send more rain here. Go Bobcats. We'd love for you to have rain right now. Top five. Foul ball out of play. Oh, oh what a catch by the fan out there. Great yep. job. I think that is. Good job out there. I wouldn't oh, somebody pulled in our, uh, grab through there. Our fan fielding percentage is a thousand right now. Yes, yeah. sir. Or one for one, yeah. Watch. watch. Good job by the catcher there. Oh, she kind of wants to get her hand out there. Mm -hmm. Got to be careful on that. You don't want to jam a finger. Counts one and two. Base is loaded. Oh, no. One after that high one. Hey, it's so hard to hang off of that. You know, I think if she would have committed earlier on to do it, I think mm -hmm. she'd hit it, but it was late. Her commit was really late on that. Where so. you been? <laughs> I told you when your dad's not here, you can come talk with me. <laughs> she had workouts with Coach West today. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Olivia Bossicker says, let's go, girls. Well, we're hoping, though, girl, when the uh, base is juiced right now. What do we have here? Zaley uh, Hall. Zaley Hall, okay. She'll be batting for Yachty. Let one rip here, young lady. She has, she's, she, she has a potential mm -hmm. if she can lay off the high ones. You know, it's funny run. about these uh, rivalry games. It really don't matter what the records are. Usually they're pretty good games. games yes, sir. You know, that's just funny how that works uh, in all sports with Corning Pickett. Ball two. Base is loaded. No place to put her one out. Now let me ask this. If this ball gets past Raffle, are we sitting there? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think he will. Well, I don't know. Not you know, with three and oh. Three and oh. Well, 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 not okay. Yeah, night, but not now. But yeah, but before before we got the bases loaded, he would have because Townsend's the fastest she can move. The team. Ball four. There we go. We got a tie ball game, folks, just like yep. that. And we're back to the top of our lineup with the bases loaded. One down here. Don't you get a lot of people say, "How did you make such a pretty girl?" Yes, it does. Well, I bet they do. I bet they, I bet they wonder that all the time. They yeah. say that to me all the time with Presley, and I'm, you've got all girls. Oh, Frank right there. That is a good pitch. I'd like to see Zimmer pull this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at look. They've shifted. They've shifted the outfield. They, they have to, to pull here for sure. High ball high. It's funny when lefties come up. Blasco doesn't miss low. All of a sudden, it, it, it misses high, and it's mm -hmm. weird. It, sometimes pitching against different-handed batters can really mess with you a little. I think she's pitching better to lefties. Well, she's coming off the mound every time. 
Well, yeah, some people just, it's the mental, the, the look of it and the feel of it. And, you know. High and outside a little bit, I guess. Yep. Coach Hunger's having everybody hold up. 3-1. Make go. it be there. One out. Oh, boy, good. did you see that? Oh, just that. drop in there off speed and just yeah, fell. Man. That was beautiful. Like it had a string on it. Uh -huh. Just jerked it out of there. But as far up in the box as she was, I don't know if yeah. I want her swinging at that one anyways. Mm -hmm. Now, she'd been back further in the box maybe. There's our go-ahead run right yeah. there. I can see where the pitcher would be upset because I think that's the same, same place. pitch. It looked like it. Exact same pitch. She didn't miss she by much. If she, if she missed, she didn't miss by much. I'll give her that for sure. Base is still loaded. One out. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Get back. Marker fell down. I'll tell you what, that grass. I, yeah, getting you're right. slick out you're there, right. I bet. Yeah. That's a second. That's a second uh, player on the infield that's fell. She was fixing the fire and not even in the box yet. Nope, too high. Parker's got a little speed to her too at third. Yeah. Billy Joe Seal tuned in with us. Miss Charlotte Smith, Mary Wright, Katie Finley. Child out of play to the concession stand. Ooh, did he get out of the ditch? I guess it did. I love watching the kids uh, fly and, and race after it and then fight. Oh, yeah. Balls. Hey, we used to get snow cones at the for foul balls. Oh, did you? Yep. Ooh. That was way inside. Outside, I mean. Inside. inside. <laughs> yeah. It's the fans. Ooh. Just a little outside. Bounced off oh, of her, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It's tough to backhand that. She kept it in front of them, just it went off her elbow, essentially. Mm -hmm. 3-2. Big pitch here for yep. Blasco. Big at bat for Corning. Dirt. Yep. Had it not. You're welcome. Mm. Oh, man. And the Corning and Pickett fans having some fun yeah. right now. Yeah. You got to love that. Oh, it happens every time. Every time. Yeah. It doesn't matter, football, no, basketball, no, yeah. baseball, softball. It could be ball. hopscotch. Yeah. Or, or. I believe jump rope would be contested, don't you? I, I truly do. I truly do. Strike one to Goodman. Yeah. Martin on deck. Oh, goodness. Six to four, Corning. Foul ball, ball out of play. play. That That's got, got a chance for a car, oh, maybe. Oh, boom, almost. Is that Man. you parked right there? No, it's oh, Casey Smith. Oh, Smith. Yeah. Oh. I believe. I believe that's our rig. Now, the kid in red was going for a second souvenir there and, and went to turn up and slid and fell. And the other kid, of course, he's ragging him pretty hard right now. Mm -hmm. That's a defeated feeling when you're Dejected, walking Dejected, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. The agony of defeat, as yeah, Howard right. Cosell would say. Right. Yeah. Grass oh. stains on the pants. I tell you, the outfield right now for both teams has been kind of low to sleep or no, mm -hmm. no balls really hit out there. If you get one out there right now. 3-2. Although that center fielder for uh, Piggott, my goodness. One Was it up. Ron? Well, she made a great play earlier. Yep. Yeah, the only two, I guess, balls hit to the outfield. One for them and one for us. Yachty made a good Ball catch out there. Both been caught. Walks in a run. Going to bring up Martin with the bases loaded. Seven to four. Maybe seeing a pitching change down here. I don't know why. Coach. You know, Piggott hadn't asked for a new ball. Coach Haley's going to, or Mr. Haley's going to bring those out there. We got one out. We got Presley Martin up. Gracie Townsend on deck. Coach Haley may have Bases the biggest, loaded. biggest legs I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what he squats, but I bet it's a lot. Those are Bart White calves right yeah. there. Yeah, I bet, I bet it's oh, a lot. Don't, don't be telling Bart. Don't be <laughs> oh, good Lord. The last thing we need is him having a yeah. bigger head than he already is. That's the last thing we need. Good Lord Almighty. Mary Wright watching, Katie Finley, Letitia Young, Alan Earnhardt, Lori Leach, and Candace Archer, Stacy Featherston, Brittany Carr, Crystal Latrell. Are they changing pitchers? Yeah. Um, yes. 21. Yep. That's going to be Parrish. Okay. Now, when we went to Piggott, they had two or three pitchers. Yes, sir. They had two or three pitchers. What do we have here? Oh, this discussing strategy here on the yeah. bases. Coach yeah. Songer is. Yeah. One out. 
Line drive. Sure, you don't freeze. Want to, yeah, freeze. last thing you want to do is get caught in a double play in, in the inning. Michael swap balls with her. That's, he wants to, or he would. See the Hatchers watching on YouTube. That was a good pitch there for a warm up. Bruce Gartman, when when uh, I used to announce the referees in the football game, Bruce Gartman out there, the the official out there at second base. One time he, they sent me up a sheet with the names on there and had Elvis Presley on there and had one of them had <laughs> Martin Luther King and one of them had something else on there. So every time Gartman would come to Corning, I'd say something about him. The winner of the hot dog eating contest, Bruce <laughs> Gartman. You know, Bruce didn't do much basketball. He looks like he's lost some weight. Maybe he's not in the hot dog eating contest now. That's right, yeah. yeah. Strike one to Martin. That outside corner, boy, he, he likes that outside mm -hmm. corner. It's uh, This is 21 on 21 here. Yeah. Okay, she's, that's 1-1. Uh, that's, one. that's Blasco over there. Julie B's brother. Boom, that's in the air. Oh, my God. Great catch. Oh, She's going to go. Coming. She's tagging. She's down. Good job. Great job right there. Chris. Let's watch the replay hey, We're here. back to the top. Or we're back to, we batted around. Yes, sir. She was safe, but I would have rather seen her slide, yeah, really, just for, to, to take the. Safety purposes. Take the. Yeah, that's uh, that was definitely a close play. Hey, great job by the right fielder there. No high. This is Can Gracie. Towns and up. Is that Langley out there? Maybe is that two or is that in what right field? I can't. I can't tell if that's a two on her jersey or not. Redmond's out or was out there. But that does look like a two. That, that, that is no, I think Langley. it's a six, isn't it? Oh, is it six? Yes. Oh, what is Langley's number? Langley is a number two, but either way, great there. play by the right fielder, whoever that is. Two and one. Redmond's got eight. Could that be an eight? That it might be an eight, yeah. That'd be Peyton. Peyton Redmond. 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 Okay, yeah. Peyton Redmond. Heck of a play. I mean, just to get to the ball and stay up and, and throw. Oh, it went five hole on her there. Oh. Man. Three and one. That's that ball must have been humming for it to bounce back that hard. Mm -hmm. Runners on Mike, second and third. Michael agree with me. That's something that Corning doesn't have in the outfield this year is the commitment no, uh -uh. to come up and catch that ball. And that's hurt us several times. Hey, we caught one in right earlier. Oh, I'll yeah. say that. Yep, yep. Three and two. Three and two, Townsend. He's telling her, take that outside pitch to right field. Full count. Get up that plate. Two Let's outs. Go. Here's the payoff pitch. Oh, that was too close to watch. To watch, yes, sir. Nine to four. Watch the replay on that one. Oh. Mm. She must have had a better look at it than we did. <laughs> yes, sir. There it is. Yeah. And he's got them taking that strike. I hate that. Yep. Because that may be the only pitch they get. Yes, sir. Kylie Smith up. I'd like to see her get a hold of one in this game. There it is. There Boom. it is in the hole. Nice. Oh, diving. Goodman comes up. He's going to send Goodman home. The throw's going to be off center. Goodman's going to score. Townsend third. moves up. Smith moves up. Second. Hey, heck of a we job. We opened it up here with two outs. Great base running there. And then also shortstop number two. Awesome dive. Who was that? Oh, sorry. Langley, didn't you say is two? Langley? Glasgow's, or, oh no, two is Langley, yeah. yeah. That's a heck of an effort by Langley there. Yeah. I know she didn't get it, but man. She tried. You know it's wet. Great base running by the Bobcats. Ooh. You know, ball's bouncing. We've got new pads. Coach Songer put new pads this year yeah. behind there, so yeah. every ball that hits it is bouncing. Yeah.
Good little mm. gust of wind there. Yeah, I got one and one's a count on Kenley Barker. Two outs. Ooh, good little oh, hit up. Uh, wow. Go, 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 no, don't throw it home. Don't throw it home. Marker makes it to second. Yep. How about a two-run double there? I love well, it. The, the shortstop was shined <laughs> towards third. And she still almost yep. got it. My goodness. She's she's out there doing her own little uh, slip and slide party. 12 to uh, four is the score. You know, that's what I say about uh, – Gracie sometimes. I feel like he's got her playing a little too far to third there. She's got a lot of ground to cover there yes, at short does. sometimes. And when Sophie was doing this with me, mm -hmm. Sophie said that Gracie goes back and watches it every night. Or, and, oh, yeah. And I told, I said, well, Gracie, I said, I think you're playing too close to third. Oh, umpire warning to the dugout. I thought it was pretty even all the way around. Yes, sir. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, look, I get both sides. You want to take well, up for your sure, players, sure. and at the same time, umpire, you want to stand up for yourself too. I, I mean, I get both sides there. Yeah, and uh, you know, I mean, I can say this on that outside corner that we can see well. He's been consistent with that every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, some of those inside ones, we, we don't we have a good look at. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. The, where we're at. Like the yeah. Gracie a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. There it is. Yep. That's uh, two, needs, two, and two again. Rowark needs to get aggressive here. Sir, protect the plate. Yeah. This is wild for the Bobcats. Barker at second. Foul ball out of play. Oh, oh, little ones. oh yeah. Ray Lynn's granddaughter out there. Yeah. Luce been in trouble, wouldn't he? He's on. Yeah. Oh yeah, he yeah. was. He was on kid patrol. Yeah, he's on. He's on <laughs> duty there and about to. Oh, Barker going to go to third. Three, two, two outs. Comes your payoff pitch with two outs. Full count. No In the dirt. The Ball four, runners. Oh. Zaley Hall coming up. Zaley Hall. We'd like to see her get a rip. She's she's a good ball player, man, in practices, like on junior high. She, mm -hmm. she uh, she gets up here and she gets nervous, you know. And uh, Songer's got her taken. Yep. A little high. Anybody related to Terry Robinson? <laughs> needs, needs to learn to hit the ball. Yes, sir. Am yeah. I a woodpecker? <laughs> I heard that too. There it is. Oh. Run it out, run it out. Oh, almost. Nonchalant throw over the first gets her out, though. Corning picks up nine in that inning. Scores, what a big inning. Scores 12 to four as we go into the top of the fourth. That was a big inning for the Bobcats there. Man, big, big inning. And just like that, changed the whole oh, yeah. complexion of the game. We were neck and neck, and now, now we've got a little breathing room. But we found out when we went to pick it, we don't have no. breathing, breathing room. <laughs> no, they can jump right back yeah, they in can. an instant. They can. I'm going to step off just a second. Okay. What's up? Yeah, and that's uh, – that's the thing about softball, man. You just one one bad inning. Of course, pitching and catching is so important in softball, even at this age. Uh, so important. And gosh, you have one bad inning where maybe the ball, you bad grip on it, a few oh, pitches. Yeah. One little bloop here. Next thing you know, and, there's and, four runs on the board. And like we said earlier, I, I don't think it was all Goodman's fault. You know, the ball was wet. Yeah, they it was didn't, tough. They yeah. didn't change the ball as often. But Zimmer's pitched a heck of a game. 
She has. She really has. And throw down the towns. Matter of fact, she's uh, she's put up two scoreless uh, back-to-back innings. Yeah. Uh, Bobcats have not uh, had an inning yet where they haven't scored a run, so that's good. 12 four is your score. It's Michelle Gibson's back on. Chris Kretner, Bridget Denton, Erica Masterson, Cheryl Johnson, and John Force also on with us as well. Let us know where you're tuning in from today if you don't mind. Amanda Mahan did say Langley was at shortstop. Well, Langley looked awful good at short. Man. And leading off for them will be, I can't tell. What's the number? 13. I do believe. 13, this is a sub I don't have. Okay. I'm going to fix our camera again. Kathy, who is this? Oh, this is Ron? Okay. This is Ron. Okay. See that when I got the thing, oh, it had, gotcha, a, gotcha. Had, a, had a raindrop on, yeah, the, I gotcha. on the number. So Ron the bat. Oh. oh. She's, the one, she's the one that swings aggressively. Yeah, she chased after that one. Well, she wanted that. You could definitely tell. I like that, though, man. She's uh, she's not getting cheated on any swings, and she's up there attacking. She's being aggressive. You're either a hammer the nail, and she's a sledgehammer right now. Yep. There you go. Come on. Two and two is the count. 12 to four is the score. Now, I haven't seen Ron run, but I guarantee you she's fast. She just has that look to her. Mm-hmm. Like a gazelle. That's right. I was thinking more like a cheetah, but okay, that'll work too. <laughs> and uh, Madison Ron on says, go Morgan. Well, there we go. How about that? 3-2 count. Here comes the payoff pitch to Ron from Zimmer. Uh, I start to say there's that call right yep. there. Yeah, that outside corner, he's called that all game. Yes, sir, he has. That's why I said that. That He's been consistent with that yeah. for sure. Yeah. I can't argue about that. And, hey, that's a hittable pitch. Oh, it's, yeah. it's where a lot of hitters would like that ball. Oh, I would. I'd mm -hmm. like to take it that. I'd like to take it that direction every time. This how's, is Wallace. How's the uh, – now, now radar-wise, how are we looking? Well, uh, earlier it looked like we uh, – was in trouble. <laughs> I think part of it went north of us. Well, it, it must have just died. Uh, she was showing me a while ago. It looked like we had quite a bit coming this way. But is that the old uh, Corning split, Rich? Is that the what Clay County, 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 County split? Yeah. Brian Vaughn yeah. says there's no such. Well, thing. there is. No. Brian Vaughn's wrong. <laughs> uh, no. He's not had a million dollars on the line in the summer, <laughs> watching it come and, and dissipate it. Yeah. At Reno. Uh. <laughs> Three zero the count, one out. We're in the top of the fourth. Is that right? Yep, that is correct. <laughs> oh, all four. See, so that's something Zimmer has not done much: is walked, uh, giving you free bases. We'll see if Coach Haley decides to. Oh no! Put we're, the wheels in motion. We're here. in the clear now. Well, good. It all went. Went, good. went east of us. Miss Zimmer was showing me a while ago there. I mean, it looked like when that it rain bad, picked up, yeah, it, it looked, looked like. Oh, oh, wow. oh, oh, almost. Hey, she got a hand on it, though. Off yes, sir. Uh, hey, club. kept it from being extra bases right yeah, there. I, I just, think so, yeah, I really do, because uh, I can't tell who's on second right now, but she was already looking to Coach Haley here, wanting to go three mm. there, and, and you're right, getting a glove on it kept her from getting extra yeah, bases. Yeah, because that was going to drop in the gap yeah. out there. Left Short, fielder playing a little deep. Shortstop was yeah. there to back her up. Yeah. Yeah, definitely outfield playing to pull here. Definitely, like Townsend said, very deep out in left field right now. They're thinking bunt. Boy, Bobcat defense was ready. How about that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if Coach Songer has uh, taught them maybe a little indicator of that, but even before she's turned to show, they were already coming in. It's like they knew. Okay, I'm lost here. Was, okay, that was Langley that batted over there. What there a hit. That's Langley there, I think. Barker, Barker Boom. makes the catch. Great job. Boy. Snow cone. Yeah. Snow cone there. I'm hollering, other hand, other yeah. hand. Every, hey, <laughs> that's what, every pop fly in the outfit has been tracked and caught by both defenses today. That's an excellent job. And you know that that, that ground out there is soaking wet, so that's oh, yeah. not easy. Oh, oh there she go, goes, there she goes, there she goes. Eat it, eat it. Yeah, you can hear hands. Townsend and I, Townsend and I coach while we do this. <laughs> 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 uh, 
coach has got an assist, but he didn't realize he had two more assists. That's right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard not to. Oh, uh, you know, Rich, I've told you before, I commend you for doing basketball with your daughter out there. Yep. Oh, because I, I, can, I can kind of do the softball, but yeah. I don't believe I can keep my cool yeah, in, the, in, soft, in, basketball. in basketball. Oh, I've yeah. gotten in trouble, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been in trouble. We've had to put him on probation yeah. at CSR a few times. Two oh the count, two outs. Yeah. Strike. Right. Oh. oh here we go. That's why I don't do either one. <laughs> <laughs> Three oh the count. Uh, first base open, but would much rather get her out here with two down. Yep. Ooh. Lost her footing there. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a ball. ball. Yeah. She stepped off and stepped back on. Yeah, yeah any movement towards uh, towards home without throwing it's definitely going to get uh, definitely going to get a balk. Mm. To her shortstop. There Great we go. job right there. That's what I like about Goodman being up there on third. She's well aware of yes. where Well, going. And, yeah, and then shortstop as well, knowing yeah. that she can go three. That was a great job by both infielders mm -hmm. right there. I'll tell you that. what, that, that field presence is is something that is, like you yeah. said earlier, it, it's you oh, can't really yeah. teach it. It's, it's, yeah. it's right. got to be in them. Well, yeah. Ava's played since she was four years old, mm -hmm. and a lot of girls have, so you know. Uh, and you, I mean, you'd be surprised. You'll see girls still kind of at this level that, you know, Mm -hmm. Might have went to try to go to first, the, sure. the, the long, sure. which I mean would have still been a. Well, yeah, right. but you got to cross the diamond right. versus right a lot there. Less, a lot less room for error here. And again, like Rich said, Goodman, knowing that there's a force at third, that was mm -hmm. smart, backpedaling, getting over there. So great job there as well. I'd say defensively, they Bobcats been putting on a little bit of a show today, mm -hmm. honestly. Well, not, not taking anything away from Kylie Smith. This is her first year to play third. And. It takes some getting used to when you've never played oh, yeah, third. Yeah, I would yeah, I would hate yeah, to play yeah, third. Yeah. There's a lot to learn in a hurry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, she kind of had to learn it in a hurry yeah. because our third well, baseman quit right. three games in, was it? Yeah. Well, some, sometimes, you know, by fire or by, you know, by trial is the best way to do it. You throw them out there and, and you learn. That's the best way to learn sometimes. I know uh, just like when I was 18, started car selling. Uh, they didn't teach us anything. <laughs> they just threw us out there. So good luck, you know. And honestly, sometimes that's the best way to learn. And, yes, you're going to make mistakes, but um, – that's part of it. And oh, yeah. that third base is, like you said, so tough. That hot mm. corner is so hard. Um, you, first of all, you better have an arm uh, oh, to yeah. play there. Uh, and you better have a quick reflexes, too. And then on bunch, you got to be quick. you got to be able to yeah. come up. Mm -hmm. and... got to be tough to play third. Yes, sir. Yeah, Kylie had always caught up through junior high. Mm -hmm. And then uh, she started out on second. And then when her third baseman – Left the team, why she got put into the heat of battle. There you go. That's that next man up uh, mm -hmm. ordeal, and you got to be ready. And 12 to 4 the score, 1 and 1 to count. Bobcats have put a run up in every inning. Let's see if we can do it this inning. There's a good hit. There it is. That's what she needs to do with it. Yeah. Go all the way to the fence. That's going to be two. Yep. She's going to hold up at two because the ball comes in fast. One that right fielder, lead off left double. Fielder. Yeah, that left fielder's got an arm. Mm -hmm. It's a heck of a lick right there, going the opposite way, and and the backspin on that thing almost shot it off to the left there. Mm -hmm. Almost got a triple out of that, but a lead off double, we'll gladly take it. The other half of the dynamic duo coming up. That was a good shot. That's it, something I never could get the girls to understand. You've got to take the ball. I mean, take hit the ball where the pitch, you know, where the, where the pitch is. You know, mm -hmm. if it's outside, not yeah, it. you got to go go with the pitch there. And, yeah. And it takes a little bit of patience there and trusting your bat and everything and the placement. She didn't swing hard. No, you know, uh, no. No, she didn't have to, but she knew where she wanted to put it. That was a great job. Made great contact. Keeping that head in and down and on it is uh, being able to pick that pitch up. Well, and sometimes kids at this age, they want to pull that outside pitch. Mm -hmm. It's hard to pull yeah. an outside oh, yeah. pitch. It is. It really is. And Zimmer did a great job of just going with it. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, Katie, give me a ride. 2-1. The count. Let's go. Bottom of the fourth. Yep. 
You know, guys, it's turned out to be a really nice. I was game. just going to say the same thing. There's a in the gap. The wow, oh, the second score. baseman oh, did a oh, great job. Oh, fumble in the outfield. The second baseman did an awesome job getting to this. Yes. That ball actually hit off the base. Just watch the replay there. That was kind of an odd ordeal. If the second baseman isn't there and she's playing deep as it is, that's a run. Mm -hmm. Of course, no outs. You feel like you could probably get that run in. We'll see what happens here. That's an awful big hole out there. It really is. Ava Goodman up to the plate. Look how far shortstop is right now. Uh -huh. I mean, in second base, yeah. back there. No I mean, outs. Yeah. No outs. Of course, runner at third, you're probably not going to throw it down to second here with no outs. Oh, but no. no, they're not. Yeah. Two outs, you might think about it if you trust your catcher, but I don't think on no outs you're going to. That's an outside corner. You didn't get the memo of uh, go sleeveless? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah, nobody called me, guys. Hey, Thanks. guys, I was working. Tonight. Actually, y'all probably didn't. I just didn't answer. I got several missed calls from y'all. Foul this ball out of play. It's a one hopper into the port. Of, nope. A little bathroom underneath it almost. Darlene Thompson watching. Amber Ingram. Roger Hovis. Stephen Hudson. Joy. Oh, and two's account. Oh, wow. another one right, in the right there. Gap. Nobody was. Going to score one. And a holder. You have no outs there. Job, you know, I tell you, I think Coach Songer may be kind of easing up a I little. Think so. And I, I, you know, I've always said that about him. You see some of these coaches that just keep hammering and hammering and hammering. Yeah. You know. Yeah, he, he does. Uh, he is. He and I is. mean. He's a good sport. He understands. Yeah, he understands. He, I'm, I'm sure we've all been on both sides of that, obviously. Yes, sir. Well, like Harrisburg, they hammered us, mm -hmm. and yeah. they didn't let up. Yeah. yeah. They never let up. You know, I have saw him pull runners off base early intentionally yeah. Yeah. to stop an inning. Matter of fact, yeah. I think I watched that this year. I think mm -hmm. he did that oh, one yeah. time this year. Yeah. 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 yeah, at some point you feel like, those base or softball gods will eventually that karma will kind of come, come around. Back. Yeah, yes, kind of come back around to you. And maybe that was what happened with the weather today. Heck, the sun. Yeah. I think almost the sun's almost shining now. So two O's count. Oh, I'll tell you, Preston needed a sand wedge to hit that one. <laughs> yeah. But he gave her the green light, so <laughs> she did. was going to hit it. Yeah. yeah, I think he said just because I gave you that didn't mean I had to swing at that. <laughs> I tell you what, you got to laugh sometimes. You do, yeah. None, yeah. Of, none of the seniors want to walk. No, no, they don't want to no, take a walk. No, uh -uh. Three O's account. Hey, I, I never wanted to walk. You know, you just. Uh, See, I thought that was ball four. No, nope. yeah, I think it's I think it's three one now. Three one now. Three one. I believe. Yeah. No outs. Yeah. Runners on second and third. Oh, ball four in the dirt. Hey, base is loaded. No out. We can open this thing up Yes, here. we can with the fastest cat on the team right now. I want to see her put it out there. I want to see her hit a gap. Go all the way to the fence. Of course, you know, we're deep in the season here, but, you know, she had, what, three in the park home runs here at the first of the mm -hmm. season? Yep. Yeah, that's 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 pretty impressive right there. It really is. I mean, but you've got uh, you got to be running out of the box, mm -hmm. you know, with with commitment there. Oh, two and zero. Oh, I had some spin on it. Base is loaded. You know, that's a that's a medical condition. I bet it is. It is. <laughs> it's a restless leg. Oh yeah. Now, I've I had it my to, entire life. I used to do that too. Now I take medicine for it. I've done it my entire life. My wife hates it. <laughs> Heather hates it. Man. Shake it the car. You shake, yeah, the... shake everything. Oh, Ooh, that's that outside corner yeah. right in there. Two and one. Well, let's go 2-0. -oh. She gets something to hit. I truly believe she's swinging away here. Mm, that's that inside one that, mm. that we can't tell, but apparently she can. She feels it's not good, I guess. Three ones count, no outs. 
Base is loaded. Ooh. Oh, ball four. 14 to four is your score. Gonna bring Kylie Smith up, number eight. You know, they said that uh, four innings complete, and then if it was to lightning, rain, whatever, mm -hmm. it can be called a, a complete game. Well, we're at that four inning mark now. If we can get through this one, which we think we're good now, though. I think so. Ooh. A little high. Just a little, but she's high. She's, she's tall. a tall girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd have called that a strike. I think that was I had her numbers. Hey, Piggin hasn't missed by much today. Oh, in the gap, get down. What a great oh. job right there. Yep. Gracie kind of slowed up, thinking that she was going to catch it, have yep. to go back. That still scores a run, but the touch from the second baseman and then shortstop, well, I think it's Langley at shortstop. Smith really got down to first. There was mm -hmm. no chance of making a double play there. Yeah, Langley came all the way from Pico Foods to, to get to second base there. She's <laughs> way out there. <laughs> District well, tournament's next week, correct? Is that right? Yes. I believe that's right. Yes, sir. Now we're at, Go is it Gosnell this year? Yes. Okay. One, one ball, one strike, one out. Do we know what days uh, yet? Probably not. No, I don't no. think so. I got the... Fifteen to four is the score. Get down, get down, get down. Just a little chopper to first. Nice catch. Yeah, two outs. Get awesome on the base job by the first baseman there. Well, she looked up, looked down, looked back up, reached out. And, hey, Ma, look what I found. It's a heck of a job. Kaylee Rowark up to the plate. She battled a base runner, an assistant coach, and a base in her way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And a, not a very high ball either. No, it, no, she didn't have a lot of time to get there. That's right. Pick it today. It says Marmaduke and Senior Night on the sixteenth, which is Thursday. No, you're looking. No, it's Friday. You're looking at the old schedule. Sixteenth oh, is today. This, oh, am I? Today's the sixteenth. That's true. Okay. Yeah, we that's play right. Marmaduke on Friday. Is it? Thursday or fr Thursday. Thursday? Thursday. Is it Thursday? I think it's Thursday. Because okay. we, we were supposed to play Marmaduke we last night. We played Manila night. Friday, and we played Marmaduke Thursday. Yeah. We were supposed to play Marmaduke last night, and they canceled. Yeah. Or, I mean, you know, they rescheduled. And now that Manila game, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Manila just one game ahead of us right now in conference, or am I wrong on that? I, I don't know. I haven't saw the standings. Okay. I know – you have to talk to Townsend about that, about that technical stuff, because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's a walk. Yeah, Roark goes down to first. Base, Base is loaded. loaded. Two outs. And going to bring up Edwards. I tell you, Pickett has nothing to, to hang. They have been. I can't. I can't tell how many runs we've scored with two outs, and they have been really close. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's been times where we get two strikes on us, and they just oh. barely miss a pitch here or there. Um, this game looks like a. Total just run away, but hey, I tell you what, though, Piggott's got battled. I mean, Piggott's got another bat, and they, yep, they surprised you. Don't us. sleep on them, no, you don't sleep on them. Us. We got a right head of them at home a couple weeks ago when they came back and made a ball game out of it. And I was worried in that game at Piggott that that whoever batted last was going to win. win the game. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, you know, there was one inning there. They got a, just a little bit ahead, you mm -hmm. know. It feels that way in softball sometimes, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Who's got the last at bat? Yeah. Oh, a little high. Hey, she hasn't swung in a while. She gets to, yep. gets to have one there. One and two, two outs. Now, what's the run rule uh, after five? It's ten after. Is it? Is it? No. Yeah, that sounds about that. I don't know. I'm not I sure. Just, that's what everybody says. That that day I was having trouble with that thing. Yeah. I said, I just announced. I don't, don't know. Don't ask to, me. I, I just work here. <laughs> Come on, Malia. You can't. You Got to hit that one. She's going to hit that outside corner here. Deuce is wild here. Two balls, two yep. strikes, two outs. Take your hats off now and shake them. 
If you believe in good luck, believe in that. There it is. Run, 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 run. Hey, that's that's going to get down. Nope, she kind of looked at the ball, ball while she yep. was running. Mm -hmm. I tell you, that slow chopper almost got her on base. Yeah, it's, great it's job. as deep as the second baseman yep. was playing. Yep. All right, then that concludes four innings of play here at Lady Bobcat Field. It is 15 to 4 in favor of our Lady Bobcats. And your girls here, Rich Martin, Mike Townsend. I uh, appreciate these guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Let us know who you're cheering for. Some, is that rumble? Is that y'all breathing hard or is that thunder? The, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Someone's stomach. Uh, I don't know. Townsend, he had a hot dog. Yeah. Uh, guys, we've actually, I know the score is uh, kind of lopsided right now, but uh, it's been a really competitive game. Great defense uh, from both sides. Uh, we've seen some good stuff. Uh, pitching has been so close for Piggott. They, they've walked several batters, but they've been really, really close. Yeah, I never understood that. I never wanted to touch it, um, but somehow you can interact with your, your people that are watching through a video. I, I don't know. I don't want to mess okay. it up. Well, I've, I've, <laughs> I've, I've never touched it. Okay, well, I've never, I didn't know what that meant. Yeah, so. I need to ask old Colton Luddyman, our IT guy, but uh, supposedly you can actually interact with people that are watching. You can actually It's like a FaceTime. You can see them face-to-face, -to -face, which is kind of different. But you know, uh, Andy, you were talking about the pitching. I mean, really for the weather, it's not been bad pitching. That's right. I mean, well, it's a uh, – there, there was one inning there that Piggott, you know, kind of had a little trouble, but we did too. But yeah. it's oh yeah, it's not been what you would think for a solid rain for the first couple innings. And for the weather, defensively, how many errors have we seen? I don't know that we've have we seen maybe one. One, maybe the throw of the first. Well, but, that, yeah, that that uh, first inning for us, there was two two throwing errors on that. Yeah, one. yeah. But aside from that, I haven't seen a whole lot at all. Peyton Redmond up. Pretty uh, clean. Uh, game, honestly. Yeah, I don't think that's thunder. I think that's the wind. The wind, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not that out of shape, okay. Andy. I'm not over here. <laughs> I can't talk. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's a good, good looking hit. hit. Base hit to left field. Well, she's fast, too. She, I was going to say, she might, she might induce a throw there just by her long turn. But I, I got a feeling even – I know Zimmer's got a cannon, but I got a feeling she's going here. Okay, okay, okay. Piggott's probably got something cooking right here. Lead off runner on. I told you, you don't ever sleep on Piggott here. Oh, there she goes. No throw. That ball took a bad bounce mm -hmm. on the catcher. There we go. Now we're back. back. Might have got a little hot with that on there, do you think? I don't think that would be the case, no. I'm not sure what Good that was. Pitch. There's a strike on that outside corner. One and one's the count. We're back, though, either way. Runner on second. Lead off runner on second. Oh, good pitch. Oh, there it was. Strike two right yes. on that outside corner. And she swung at it. Yep. They know it's coming. I, you guys said it earlier. Y'all hit it on the head. He has been so consistent with that outside part of the plate. Oh, a little high. high. Two, two. Brock Kepner's watching. Kelly Mahan's watching. Susan Hill's watching. Janine Sexton's watching. Oh, wow. I think that's going to be fair, guys. Oh, no, no. He called it foul. He called it foul. He called it foul. That's going to make somebody upset. Uh, yeah, we can't. It, it was foul, though, I believe. It I was. believe it was just by an inch or two. Well, it's hard to tell down there. And, and well, there's no chalk. You they, just they, have to. There's a faint they, line. The well, they, 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 they did paint. I will say that. They did paint, but, of course, all this rain. And then, of course, you got the. Uh, the sun now shining, which actually kind of makes it harder, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, that's a tough call to make. Now, the old adage is if, if it touches it, um, that it's actually – that's considered fair. Fair, yes, sir. I, I, boys. Well, Michael, Michael had the best view of it. Yeah, that's true. Right down the he line. Is right, you're right. He is right down the line. One year we actually put a camera on, a foul, on, 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 a, on a foul post out there just to kind of get that view. I didn't have time to do that day. That'd been a good shot right there. Speaking of good shots, wow! Hey, you know it's a 
two batters up, two hits right here right, for Piggott. Right, and one run scored. Yes, sir. 15 to 5. Can't but count them out. They haven't scored since the first inning. Zimmer really shut them down. Now all of a sudden, bam, they got a little something going here. Barker's acting like maybe threw her arm out a little bit there. She's rubbing her shoulder. Let's see. Okay, we got a sub coming in. Kathy, do you know who this is? And don't call her out on the live stream like that. No, but she's got the, you can she, say, hey, you over there or something. Don't. <laughs> she's got the full lineup. I just got a picture of it. Okay, I didn't either. Mystery lady. Yep. Oh, a little high. <laughs> Amy Fish says, let's go, Lady Bobcats. Kimmy Hollis on with us. Thank you all for tuning in. We appreciate it. No outs in the top of the fifth. Oh, oh almost win. I, I don't know how she held it back. Uh -uh. My Who goodness. Two balls, no strikes. <laughs> she was like leaning back oh. off her back foot with that swing, too. <laughs> that was incredible just not to go through with it. Good pitch. There you go. Well, that time she did. My goodness. Yeah, that time her hand come off the bat. She's swinging hard. Two ones count. I'll tell you something, that old slap hit and stuff, that is a that is a different breed right Who's there. Who is it that we play that does that every time? Uh, Manila does. Manila some. does. Oh, Manila. We'll, we'll, one batter from Manila will go through probably 12 pitches, mm -hmm. fouling every one of them off until she gets. That's an art and form, Harrisburg, man. didn't Harrisburg have one at Harrisburg? Yeah. I didn't see the, you know, when they came here. It's hard enough for me to sit still somewhere and hit something. Let's just run it at it. <laughs> we need a strike right here. There, there it is. is. First base is occupied. Yep. First, you can't. Don't throw it to first. There we go. Although the runner at first about started to run. <laughs> right. First base coach down there was about to have a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, Mr. yeah coach, coach Haley said, listen, listen. I right, right, tell you what, he got his point across very yeah. loud and clear, though. I'll give him that. I believe he's coaching football now, too, if I'm not mistaken, Coach Haley. Oh, yeah. After uh, Coach Don Simmons uh, moving on. Had a good talk today with Coach Farrell Shelton. He's excited about football season coming up. That was the spot, but it's just too low. Yeah, yeah. I tell you, the umpire cleaned the plate, but, it, it, you know, it don't even look like it's so dirty. We had so much yeah. water and mud and that red that red clay really stains. It does very easily too. Yep. That's the beauty of black pants. Not to. Oh, foul ball! Oh, we'll take that one. You get those white uh, those mm -hmm. white baseball pants, and this that clay boy it doesn't mix real well. Amy Fish says, "Let's go Bobcats." Ricky James is watching. Ricky Robinson's watching. Uh, Ricky Robinson. I uh, graduated. Ricky Robinson. Did you? Yeah, class of great class of 06. I know there's another uh, Martin that was in that uh, 06. Yeah, yeah, you might you might know him actually. <laughs> I like ORJ. Hey, he's helped us a little bit. Yep. Oh, good pitch. Did he like that? He told me he did, but did, did he like oh, it? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He acted like he did. Of course, he could have just been telling me that though. No. And I told him, and he laughed. I said, it's in your blood. It's That's right. In your no, blood. You, really don't, you don't have a choice. Generations so. of it, man. There it is. Uh-oh. Going to second. Got yep. it. Beautiful job. Yeah, there. Great, yep. great job. The runner it's running to second kind of slowed up, gave us a chance for that. Two outs. Out. She knew where she was going with that ball for sure and got it. Mm -hmm. I mean, she really did. She knew the situation. That's a very, very high IQ infielder right there. And good job covering, too, there by second base. Goodman's got a, a quick release when she throws. She doesn't want to get by. I think that one slipped. That one was, was outside from the get-go. That's the one you want to rub your hand in the dirt. Or... <laughs> <clears throat> if you're the catcher, you just take your glove off and you throw it at it and just hope that it, <laughs> <laughs> hope that it hits it. That's one and zero. Oh. oh, high and inside. Well, if you're a hitter, I'm, I'm a little nervous. You got one outside, one inside. <laughs> this is Wallace. We're gonna start calling her Wild Thing, over, like the yeah. Rick Vaughn of yeah. Major yeah. League. Yeah. Major League, yes. yeah. Oh, a little that was outside. Close. On that was the close, outside. though. I like the location, though. 
Reno's the count, she'd running have to, second. She'd have to get her that sleeveless shirt, you know. That's right. And get the uh, the Thunderbolt. Like yeah. The, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there it is. Out of play. That might be Heads concession up. stand. Oh, nope. uh, it scares me to death when them kids are not paying attention. Especially there with her back turned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does, yeah. You just Three, one, out. two outs. I'll start handing out like hard hats to all the yeah. kids. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, man. Almost going to score a run. That was a hard hit there. Who's number one? Wallace. Wallace, a heck of a hit, young lady. That was a rocket. Had a motor on it right back up the middle. Just out of the outstretched hands of the pitcher and second baseman. They played it to this, and they're fighting back. Give them credit. I tell you, Pickett doesn't give up, especially. I don't know if it's just because it's corning or what. But. I'm sure that has a little bit to do with it. No, it's 22 batting now. Okay. First pitch strike. Okay. Two outs here. We're in the top hey, half of the fifth inning. Just had to check. I showed 20, 21 should be up to bat Parrish, but that's 22. That's Blasco. 11. Yep. I'd say Sonner would be. I just want to echo what she said, but uh, you're wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I can't. laughs> uh, what does that mean? I'm not sure. I don't know either. Two one count. Two outs. Runner on first. Fifteen to six. This could turn around in a hurry if we have trouble getting this last out here. You ain't kidding. Speaking of up, up, up Smith. Great Good job. Good job, Kylie Smith. That's awesome right there. Way to run it down, young ladies. Get a replay there. So you can see it. I'm glad to be out of that inning. I was beginning yes. to get work. Tell her her volume's all the way down. Watch this. My volume's on. When it goes down, they automatically pop up. Okay. That's what that's what she's that's what she's seeing. Okay. Yeah. So her volume must be all the way down. All right, let's bring it up here to us. We're going to the bottom half of the fifth inning here at Lady Bobcat Field, and it's turning out to be a pretty good old uh, afternoon. Yes, sir. Get the lights on. And we've got uh, Mike Townsend and Richard Martin here with us. And we're live on Facebook, live on YouTube. That uh, first couple innings was not the best weather. but No, it no, was not. Wasn't. But, you know, I'll tell you what, they, they pushed through, though. And, uh, um, I honestly, that second down part, I was like, uh-oh, mm -hmm. yeah, this ain't good. You know, we're not going to get this thing in. But, and, you so know, far. kudos to the umpire. You know, there was one time there that, oh yeah, I mean, I, I felt like he was going to call it with that one lightning strike. Yeah. and. And really glad he didn't. Do we have anything else coming down the road? Oh, here? It's, it's raining at Pocahontas right now. We might get another shower in okay. the next 30 minutes. Okay. We but we are have... past the four innings, though, hey, so we should be. Yeah. Get this guy right here on, yeah, the, on, we on got him. the camera right there. Yeah. Blake. Yeah, he's Blake. right there. Boom. The national anthem. Blake. Yeah. Right here. yeah tell, us, <laughs> tell us about singing the national anthem, Blake. Yeah. I figured with the moisture in there, you, you wouldn't do it tonight, but they said you did. It was beautiful. <laughs> oh, Somebody had to sing it. Yeah. Right. Get wet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're at the top of the order. Next, for uh, next game, he's throwing out the ceremonial first pitch, so we're yeah. excited about that, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they said Kathy held the umbrella for you, though. So. Did you ever see John Daly do that? John Daly was at Bush Stadium throwing out the ceremonial first, and he throws it over <laughs> the, yeah. the net to the crowd. I thought that was awesome. John Daly's a national treasure. Though. Oh, yeah. Got to yeah. love him. We are. Do you know when that's going to be, though? I know it's next week. 22nd. Okay, so 20. 22nd through 26th. So that is – okay, so it's possible we're playing Monday or probably t probably Tuesday for sure, but probably Monday. Yeah, okay. All right, well, now we know. Okay. So now – I'll say so if we win today and we win – Friday against Manila, we would it still wouldn't matter. Okay. Okay. 
T- 10-4. Okay. Okay. Three and O's to count to Zimmer. Top of our lineup starting off yep. here in the bottom of the fifth. That's what I like to see. Yes, sir. Tack on a few more runs here. And yep. Now, in, in, in softball, we only have seven teams, correct? No good hit there. That's going to be – that's going to drop. Oh, wow. Bad throw. She made a play out of it. Nope, oh. nope, 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 nope. Connor held her up there. Good deal. That didn't really – well, Coach Haley Dot took one off the shin there, bless yeah. her heart. She was writing something in her book there, and bam. But if, if there's only seven teams, I would assume on Monday you would have your four versus seven and your five versus six. No. No, that wouldn't be right. It would be six versus seven. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so three. There's oh, a hit. Good down. hit. Left field. Do Love we have seven teams in softball or just six? Okay, so just six. Okay, that makes more sense then, yeah. Both Zimmers are on first and second. Ava Goodman coming up. No outs. So Monday we'll be playing, it sounds like. Okay, there we go. I think we got it figured out now. So it sounds like Monday the 22nd we will be Blake's playing. Blake's not just a voice for the national anthem. He's a he's, voice for the people. He's a voice for the people. Yes. <laughs> voice of information. Yeah. Ball gets away. Runners going to advance. advance. You know, Mike, I don't know why they didn't bring in that other pitcher unless she's not there anymore yeah. or something. I don't know. Well, now, <laughs> I'm curious of where – so they, they've got to be sixth in conference, correct, if, if, if Manila and Corning's playing for four and five. So I was thinking maybe they were saving a pitcher for maybe another conference game this week. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I spoke too soon. Yeah, yeah, here she comes. I was going to say, if they're, if they're trying to save a pitcher for a game that could really matter in, in standings-wise, but if they're six either way, it's not going to matter. And I don't even know if they got another game this week. They may not. This may be their final conference game. Matter of fact, let's talk a little bit about our streaming schedule this week. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. i got to figure it out. Um, but here is what we've got. So I am shown on the 18th, which will be Thursday. Thursday. Um, we have got softball against Marmaduke, which is senior day. Mm-hmm. And we've got baseball, which it was OCL, and now it's Paragol, which will also be senior day. Mm, good nice hit. Right there. Good one hits to the shortstop off the glove. Oh, off the glove. He's going to score one. Hold center, her field, up. center field comes up. Ball game. Oh, yeah. that's the ball game right there. You know she's hitting herself on that one. To six, yep. She did a great job getting there, just couldn't quite snag it. Yep. So, again, Thursday, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I, I may have to burn a vacation at work. If I do, would you guys be okay doing softball here Thursday? I can. I can. Because I'd I have can. to. You're, I had, the, you're the one that's working. Yeah, I can Thursday, yeah. Okay. I can get it. If I can take off, I can get it set up, and then we'll. Uh, I'll go get baseball, and I'll do it. Now, there will be a some sort of senior presentation, right, so we'll have to figure right. that out. I need to figure out where they're going to do that, if it's going to be dead center. It, it, or, it'll be right here at the home plate. At home we plate, last okay. Year. Well, then our camera here should pick that up. We should be okay then. Um, and then Friday, we've got softball here too um, at 4.30. So um, so we still got a few uh, few more days left of baseball. So, and then, I don't know, do you, gonna, you, you yep. want to go to Gosnell uh, Monday? I'll be there. I'll be there. You all yeah. both be there? Yeah. I'll call Lewis Ernst. i got a good buddy over there at AD. I'll call him and see if he don't mind us coming. Uh, I don't know if our AT&T will be enough, but uh, if not, we'll bond some other stuff. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I mean, we'll. Good. I'll get us a Mike scoreboard and ready. There. And, okay. Um, I'll get us a scoreboard ready, and, uh, and by golly, we'll go do it. Um, I wonder I wonder when boys would play. No, I don't know. I don't know anything about the boys. I need to find out through Coach George when the boys would play. Um I'm going to stay, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stay. I'll um, stay with you. If you're you're going to stay? Okay. I, appreciate. I might run and grab something to eat real quick, though. Go ahead. Um, Everybody a few um, minutes. Hey, for Rich Martin, Andy Earls, Mike Townsend, go Cats. Go Bob. For 85 years, Clay County Electric has powered our community with a legacy of excellent service. And now you get power and connectivity with the same great service you've come to expect. 
Clay County Connect brings the world to your fingertips with reliable, affordable, high-speed broadband internet. The best part? You get the same great local service that has defined us for decades. To learn more on how we can best serve you, visit us online or call 870-857-3521. Let's give it up for Leonard's Paintless Dent and One Shield Repair. This is Eric Leonard. Just hit that and bring that down. Call or text Eric for all of your automotive glass needs, rock chip repairs, windshield replacement, glass replacement, and headlight restoration. They accept insurance and are mobile. Hey, they serve all of the Clay County and surrounding areas. So call or text Eric today at 870-323-0141. Eric wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. He says, go Bobcats, go. Malone Custom Designs has a new spot downtown and we'd love for you to come by. With our laser engraving machines, we can personalize almost any gift in our store. We do caps, knives, keychains, tumblers, stickers, decals, business cards, banners, and more. While you're here, consider booking a photography session in our new studio. Visit us at 421 Southwest 2nd Street in Corning and let's make something special. Depression, anxiety, PTSD, and other mental disorders can separate us from the ones we love most. We can feel lost, distant, and detached from our lives. At Affinity Counseling Services, your ability to reconnect with life and loved ones is our priority. We provide in-office and telehealth services at each of our locations in Piggott, Corning, and Kennett, Missouri. Sign up for services now at counselingwithaffinity.com. A hey, big shout out to Farm Service Incorporated here in Northeast Arkansas out of Corning and Noble. We appreciate them jumping on board with us here at Corning Sports Report. At Farm Service Inc., we strive to provide advanced agricultural technology with quality personalized service right here in Northeast Arkansas and Southeast Missouri. With our selection of brand name products and service technology, you can count on us to help your profits grow. They also want to mention they sell fertilized, chemical, seed, farm supplies, fuel, and offer custom application. Farm Service Incorporated, I want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. You can't be everywhere at once, but we can be anywhere you are. The Anywhere app by First National Bank. Putting you first, always. Clay County Connect is powered by Clay County Electric, bringing high-speed internet to rural communities in Northeast Arkansas. We chose Clay County Connect for our internet service. Number one, it's fiber to the house. Number two, the great local service they provide. We still have local service people right here in our community servicing us when we have trouble. Plus, we have a local office we can walk into anytime and talk to people from our area. For more information, give us a call at 870-202-1990. Here's a familiar face with us here at CSR. How about Jason Horner and Big Iron Auctions? Jason's been with us since the very, very beginning. I want to say thank you, Jason, for all your support here at CSR. He's your independent sales representative. You can get a hold of him at 870-598-4310. Listing equipment in Clay, Green County in Arkansas, and Butler and Ripley County in Missouri. Again, that's Jason Horner with Big Iron Auctions, 870-598-4310. Jason wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Let's give it up to the Solaces, our friends Jerry, Rhonda, and Michael with Solace Grain Bins and SNL Irrigation right there in Corning, Arkansas. Been in business 40 plus years. Grain bins and related accessories, sales and service, complete irrigation installation. And in 2019, Michael became the third generation to continue to provide these services to their customers. Get a hold of them at 870-857-3086. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. That's Solace Grain Bins and SNL Irrigation. All of us at Coin Sports Report want to say thank you to Cindy and Matt Woolard 
and Wooler Flying Service out of Corning, Arkansas. You can get a hold of Wooler Flying Service at 870-857-3839. Of course, they're there at the airport, 108 Airport, Highway 980 in Corning. And Matt and Cindy, huge hog fans, which we always love, but even bigger Corning Bobcat fans. We appreciate their support here at CSR, and we appreciate all they do for the city of Corning. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck. Next up on the CSR sponsor video slideshow, Red Taylor Ford out of Corning, Arkansas. Hey, they've been family owned and operated since 1977. How about that? Right there off of 2nd Street, uh, right off the main drag there in Corning, Arkansas. Get a hold of them, 870-857-3516. Red Taylor Ford in Corning, Arkansas, offering new Ford cars, trucks, SUVs, and crossovers. Visit them online at www.redtaylorford.com. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck. I want to give a big thank you to Mr. Kirk Scobie in Shelter Insurance out of Corning, Arkansas. Hey, yes, your agent. He can help you make sure you get the right coverage at the right price while providing the quality service you expect. Feel free to give him a call to discuss your insurance options today. That's Kirk Scobie at 870-857-3211. It's auto, it's home, it's life, but it's much more than that. Kirk wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Let's give a shout out to our new sponsor, NEA Veterinary Clinic out of Corning, Arkansas. Hey, NEA Vet Clinic is a full service animal hospital that welcomes patients for routine medical, surgical, and dental care as well as emergency treatments. Dr. Ginger Seagraves has over 20 years of veterinary experience, including regular pet wellness, diagnosing, and treating severe conditions beyond first rate pet care. They make their clinic comfortable, kid friendly, and calm so your pet can relax in the wedding room and look forward to meeting our veterinarians. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, reach them at 870-857-5050. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. You'd be hard pressed to find bigger Bobcat fans than these two right here. Jim and Sandy Davis of JSD Cattle Ranch. I want to thank JSD Cattle Ranch for jumping on board with us again. Multiple years of support. Uh, we really, really appreciate them. And, uh, they love us here at CSR, and we love them, too. Uh, Jim Davis, uh, we appreciate you, buddy, for helping out with this uh, for the third, actually probably fourth year in a row. So thank you so much. JST Cattle Ranch, go Bobcats. Let's give a shout-out to Harold Implement Company out of Corning, Arkansas. Harold Implement is a proud supporter of the Corning Bobcats, family-owned and operated in Corning, since 1946, we are your one-stop shop for all things Polaris, Bad Boy, Ace Hardware, Yamaha Off-Road, and hunting supplies. Again, give them a call, 870-857-3931. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. Harold Implement Company. Let's give it up for our new sponsor this year, Southern Breeze Heating and Cooling LLC. You see Mr. Wes Dollar and Danny Reed there on your screen. We appreciate those two guys, the owners there, commercial, residential, whatever it may be. These are your guys. No matter how hot it gets, how cold it gets, you've got an option here. Call Wes at 870-450-3900 or Danny, 870-323-2057. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Midwest Auto Parts has been a family-owned business in the heart of Corning since 1946, when it was established at 301 West 1st Street by Thomas and Bernice George, Midwest has and continues to serve the citizens of Corning and surrounding communities with the dependable parts and service. From auto parts and paint, hydraulic hoses, heavy duty truck, farm tractor, and power unit parts, Midwest probably has what you need. From five generations of former and current Bobcats, Midwest Auto Parts says, Go Bobcats! Get a hold of them, 870 857. 3084. From all of us here at Corning Sports Report, we want to give a special shout out and a huge thank you to Miss Lisa Jett, Mr. Joe Jett, and the entire Jett family for being our primary sponsor this year at Corning Sports Report. Uh, these fine folks have, have done it all for the city, the, the high school, the athletic programs, and also us here at CSR. Always giving, always helping out any way they can. We want to say thank you, and we're excited to watch those little ones grow up and uh, future Bobcats. 
We cannot wait. Again, big thank you to Miss Lisa Jett and Joe Jett and the entire Jett family. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. When your equipment needs service, you can rest easy knowing Legacy Equipment will handle all the heavy lifting, literally. Purchase a John Deere 1 through 4 Series tractor from Legacy Equipment and you'll receive free pickup and delivery for life. That's right, no trailer, no problem. With Legacy Equipment, you get the convenience of keeping your compact tractor in tip-top shape without having to lift a finger. Just one more way Legacy leads. Find out more at LegacyEquipment.com. Hands-on learning therapy services out of Corning, Arkansas. We are here for your child. Hands-on services provide speech, physical, occupational, and developmental therapy to children birth through 21 years of age. Our dedicated staff of therapists ensure each child receives the individual attention and quality of therapy he or she deserves. We provide services in the clinics, the daycares, and home settings. You can get a hold of Hands-On Learning Therapy Services at 870-520-8761. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Let's give a big thank you to Kate Pharmacy out of Corning, Arkansas. Multiple time sponsor here with the Corning Sports Report. Located right here off of 500 North Missouri Avenue in Corning, their pharmacy provides a number of services, including free delivery inside the city limits, very short wait times, compliance packaging options, a convenient drive through 24 hours, prescription services, vaccinations, diabetic shoes, and many, many more. Get hold of them at 870-857-6766. They'll wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Kate Pharmacy. How about my friend Matt Anders, a Corning High School alumni, and he's working with the Baker Implement Company now. They were established in 1938. How about that? They jumped on board with us here for the second year in a row. We sure appreciate Matt and all the fine folks there. Listen, 13 locations to serve you. Matt works there at Kennett, but they have 13 of them throughout Arkansas and Missouri. They're your local case IH dealer. Get a hold of Matt and the fine folks there at Kennett at 573-888. 4644. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. Hey, big shout out and thank you to Mr. Jared Lowe and all the fine folks there at Serenity Ridge Pet Crematory. Uh, this ain't their first time with us, and we certainly appreciate their repeat business and jumping on board with us. Fine folks there at the Pigot, Arkansas. Serenity Ridge Pet Crematory is now offering pet cremation services through local veterinarian clinics. Call your local vet to see if they offer our service. Several of them around here do. Not just there in Pigott, but several around Missouri and Arkansas. If you lose your pet at home, give us a call at 1-888-286-3469 for arrangements. That's Serenity Ridge Pet Crematory. First up on our CSR sponsor video slideshow is Ms. Kimberly Scroggins and Scroggins Associates in Corning, Arkansas. Tax and bookkeeping services, 20 plus years of experience and Ms. Kim was the owner operator there. You can call 870-857-3765. That's their office and ask for her. Ask for Kimberly there. If you don't mind, again, Scrog and Associates in Corning, 20 plus years of service, 870-857-3765. I love Kimberly's photo here. She's had this on here for a few years. Beautiful picture, uh, very family oriented. And we sure are with you this year, Kimberly. We love you. And if there's anything we can do, please let us know. That's Kimberly Associates, 870-857-3765. She wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on this season. Hey guys, it's Andy Earls here at Baldwin Chevrolet. And when I'm not here giving you these uh, CSR live streams live in person, I'm at my full-time job there at Baldwin Chevrolet, Popper Bluff, Missouri. And we have four lots full of new and pre-owned inventory. And I'd love the opportunity to earn your business. The majority of the vehicles on those four lots are backed by a lifetime warranty at no charge to you. That's right. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage. You can service it anywhere you'd like. A legit deal there. A lifetime warranty that covers your powertrain, engine, transmission, drivetrain assembly for as long as you own the vehicle. Get a hold of me at 501 413 9715 or come up to Papa Bluff, Missouri and shop at one of the four lots here. Again, Andy Earls, Mark of Excellence Award winner, Baldwin Chevrolet. Go Cats!
thank you to Mr. Breck McMillan, your agent there with State Farm Insurance in two locations, Corning, Arkansas and Pickett, Arkansas, for sponsoring us here at Corning Sports Report. Here to help life go right. We're your good neighbors at State Farm, providing you with the insurance and financial services you need. Get a hold of Brett and his staff at Corning at 870-857-3463 or at Pigot 870-598-2808. Brett and his staff want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. A big thank you to our new sponsor this year, Mr. Blake Johnson and Blake Johnson Farms. You see the family photo there. I always love these family photos uh, for their sponsorship picks. Love that. Blake's been a good pal of ours for a while, and obviously a big supporter of not only the city of Corning, Corning Bobcat Athletics, but also us here at CSR. Blake Johnson Farms, everyone at the staff there wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. I'm going to give a big shout out to our new sponsor this year, J&N Family Farms. Love the two uh, family photos there combined. I love that. That's awesome. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck from the Gleghorn and the Young families. And they are big, big Bobcat supporters, obviously alumni of the Corning Bobcat Athletics Program. And they are our new sponsors here at CSR. Again, one more time, J&N Family Farms wishing the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. I'd like to say thank you to our next sponsor, Noble Auto Sales LLC out of Corning, Arkansas. Had they been in business since 1968? Financing is available, good or bad credit, and they sell clean titles. Again, that's financing for everyone. Find them at 1502 West Main Street there in Corning, Arkansas. You can go online at noblecars.com or reach them by phone, 870-268-0350. That's Noble Auto Sales. Wishing the Bobcats the best of luck. All of us at CSR want to say thank you to our new sponsor this year, Mr. Scott George, and all the fine folks at Scott George Farms. Big supporters of the city of Corning, of Corning Bobcat Athletics, and all of us here at Corning Sports Report. Scott jumped on here for basketball season. He wants to wish the girls and the boys the best of luck on the season here in basketball. Scott George Farms. Let's give a shout out to our new sponsor, Pocahontas Medical Clinic out of Corning, Arkansas. Pocahontas Medical Clinic is your hometown healthcare clinic. There is no place like home for our physicians. Our physician-owned multi-specialty medical group has been serving Pocahontas, Arkansas for over 30 years and now here in Corning, Arkansas as well. You can find them at Corning, Arkansas at 400 West 4th Street. Get a hold of them at 870-631-3538. Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Again, 870-631-3538. Wishing the Bobcats the best of luck. Hey, all of us at Corning Sports Report want to say thank you to our new sponsor, ABS Excavating. They jumped on board with us this year, and we certainly appreciate them. They want to wish the Corning Bobcats, boys and girls, the best of luck on the seasons. And they want to say, go, cats, go. That's ABS Excavating out of Corning, Arkansas. Chris and Lonnie Ballard at Ballard's Auto Repair would like to thank their loyal customers for the support in business throughout the years. Ballard's Auto Repair is a fourth generation family. Okay, we're back here at Lady Bobcat Field for a uh, Match up between the Junior Lady Mohawks and your Junior Lady Bobcats. Starting to mist a little bit again, but the uh, it's been a pretty good evening here so far. We had a little bit of rain in the first inning of the first couple of innings of the Senior High game, and Jolly Candy fires a strike in there for the first pitch. I don't have a roster for the. Lady Mohawks. It's a uh, ball high. It's like number 21 up to bat for the Lady Mohawks. The wind's even died down a little since the rain has quit. Strike two. Brings the count to one and two.
ball high, two and two. High ball, brings count full. Oh, ball four. Lead off batter on base. Strike one. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know. Andy Earl's back here with me. Sorry about that. Took a little while. I'm going to change that score for you real quick. Oh, good hit. Yeah, I didn't want to mess no, anything you're, you're up. You're perfectly so, uh, fine, buddy. I appreciate you being here. At least you're here to. Oh, oh we're going to have a running score here on some a couple throwing errors there. Well, that didn't take long, did it? No, sir. Now we have a runner on second. Just kind of talking to you there. I didn't even see what happened, <laughs> but uh, I know it was a throw to first, and then everything went kind of. It was chaos after that. That's what it sounds like. Pass ball. A throw to third. Oh. Chaos. All right. I'm going to take the charger from this. I'm going to borrow it myself. Do you have uh, rosters for either team? I think I – no, I don't actually know. Runner coming. Um, no. i tell you Sight. what, though. Under the tag. She was under the tag. That's going to bring it to – tell you what, 2 nothing early for these Mohawks here, How Lady Mohawks. That? Pretty good start for them. Uh, I bet we could find out through some of the folks on the chat, though. Um, if you guys know – I don't have anything to write on either, so it's bad. Um, if you Pickett fans you know who's it? who here. Go ask Pickett if you could have a picture of their roster. Okay. Right. We're Two good there. Leadoff batters have scored for the Mo Lady Mohawks here. Yeah, that's uh, before the first out. That's a strike. Going to bring it to three and one. New umpire and that same outside call is getting that. Yes, same sir. Call. I like that. They're consistent with it. How about that? Hey, that's like we said in the senior high game. That's hittable pitch. That's, that's a hittable that's, pitch, that's... yeah. Well, not to start the Bobcats one, and they've got the first three runners have uh, all got on base. Two have come across home plate. Actually, if you're Corning fans or Pigot fans, let us know who's who out here. If you know a number and a name, throw it at us. Put it in the comments there for us. Help us out um, if you can. Because me and Mike uh, do not know these kiddos. but I know the, some of these younger Bobcats, but I know zero of the Mohawks. Oh, wow, the first. throw down the first. Almost got her. Hey, Molly's a good catcher back there. Right? She Man. plays travel ball. Yeah. She's a she's a baller. Well, she showed it there. How many kids this age are, are checking on the runner at first, the throw down? I like that. That was impressive. Strike. Brings count to one and one. Did they con you into running that? Did they con you into running that? <laughs> yeah. Look, you're going again. <laughs> well, we appreciate you running it. We really do. That runner on first are keeping a good eye on her for sure. 1-1 one, one count here. Comes the set, the kick, the delivery. High for ball two. A little bit of wind gust here, Lady Bobcat feel. A little bit of, I won't say rain, or it's just more a of a mist. mist. Yeah, yeah, light mist right now. It seems to pick up just a little here. Chop foul oh, over to the home side dugout. Nobody going after that. we got a little guy out of the <laughs> Throwing on his helmet as he goes. He... I love it. That's awesome. Don't know who that is, but little man put on his helmet, and he charged after it. Sent you a roster, a oh. picture of a roster. I don't know if you can okay. read it or not. Okay. But, uh, Here we go. So this is okay. Two Langley, K Langley, I believe it says. 
Now, two in the senior high game was also Langley. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, Miss Stella Joe. Are you the boss of the house? No, that's a uh, that's right. <laughs> that's that's Ray Lynn's granddaughter. That's Ray Lynn's granddaughter. You got more hair than I do. <laughs> Can I have some of those? No. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> it's not going to happen, buddy. Hanging on to those myself. This is Tompkins. 13, I believe, isn't it? Got a foul ball. I think you're right. Jacob Cox is watching with us. Maven Foster. Wanda Roke is watching from home, she says. Thank you, Wanda. Is that yours? No, sir. Okay, okay, I'm put over. That must have been Rich's. That'll be all right. 2 1 the count. Runners on first and second for the Lady Mohawks. Now that uh, that miss comes into a little bit more of a, a rain now, but the wind is really pushing it. It's blowing completely sideways right now. Yes, sir. You know, all through the first game, our tent was pretty well. I blown. know, in the right spot. Now it's the wrong spot. <laughs> now we need to pull it down in front of it. Yeah. Like a shield. Yeah. Ball high. Tell you, Piggott is just uh, wearing these base paths out right now in this first inning. Bases are juiced, full of Mohawks, bloody Mohawks, I should say. Change of bat here. Good little crowd here, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A good little crowd here today. Yeah. There's some junior high softball. Pass ball. Oh. Second, runner, oh, runner, runner down, on second. Runner down, runner down. Runner on second slipped. slipped. That has happened twice today. Mm hmm Man. Well, you put on the e-brakes there. You're going for a ride. <laughs> right. Yes, sir. <laughs> there is no traction out there. Uh. Oh, that ball is fair. That's a big-time hit right mm -hmm. there. That's going to drive gonna score several. There's yeah. one. Cross plate, two. Here comes a three. Big-time double there. Three-run double by number three. That and is. that is – we're going to try to get it for you guys. Well, I don't see it there. Rouse, maybe. Uh, I believe she was under number 13, wasn't okay. she? Okay. Yeah, because number eight is uh, McKinney. McKinney. Okay. It, well, Rouse, Roos, I'm not sure how to pronounce uh, that one. But either way, she did a heck of a job. Mm -hmm. She deserves the credit there. Awesome job. Man, that was a bases clearing double. And I guess five is your uh, is your number. Number here to yeah. junior high. Yes, sir. Yeah, five is your, is your limit there, which is fine. Umpires hanging around for junior high games. I'm glad that we do this. Um, I'm glad that we do it like this. So it wasn't always like this, correct? It where yeah, junior right. high would follow the senior well, high team no, essentially, and in, in yeah, we we always followed the the senior high team afterwards. Oh, okay, because, okay. But uh, but it was just this is the first year that it's school affiliated. Okay, it's been all okay. up until this year. It was all volunteer coaches and gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Parents had to get the children, the kids there. I see, you know. I see. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. awesome that they were able to do that, though, for sure. I mean, yeah. obviously it makes life a lot easier. Obviously, I know I've seen you out here, uh, I guess it was last year maybe or the year before yes, that. Sir. Oh, yeah, both uh, years. Yes, yeah. Sir. I know we appreciate you doing that, uh, putting your time in. I know you've done that for a while now. Uh, we appreciate it. We need more people like that, obviously, in our community that's that's willing to volunteer, willing to help, uh, put themselves out there. Obviously, it's not never – the easiest job, oh, obviously. No, when you're no. <laughs> can't make everybody happy, no, uh, sir. unfortunately. No, but but uh, you're doing what you can for the kiddos and the community. That's the biggest thing. So, didn't but, they used to play though out at the at the at the ballpark? Yeah, they did. There, okay, okay. But uh, I guess uh, even baseball did too. You yeah, know, yeah, junior high baseball. But uh, that's we what did, I thought. We did start playing. The two years that I coached, we played here. Okay, and and always followed. The senior high. Gotcha. Okay. I said I sure was glad Gracie moved up this year because yeah. you get to play the early game. That's you know? right. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, in all the other sports, the junior high plays first. Well, that's true. That's true. That's right. Yeah. Football, football basketball. Football, basketball, yeah. Yeah, that's right. And now it's it's the opposite. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, you go to Manila and uh, the senior high game goes seven innings. Oh, yeah. And then you play. Yeah, it, it's and then you get a long home. drive home. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Makes for a very, very, very long night, and then you got to get work next morning. So, 
running on fumes. This is Lindsey Robinson coming up, lefty for Corning, leadoff hitter. Let's see the closed stance. Ball high. high. A little chin music there. Yeah, I tell you, she's a she's a swift on the basketball court. She's fast. She can yes, get up she, down that court. Yes, she is. As a matter of fact, I remember this uh, name many, many times during uh, basketball season. Oh, got her going after that one. She was going after the rice dryers on that one. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> she was unloading on that thing. Holds the bat right down at the knob. Oh. Tasha's just a little, little out. Yeah, I'll say just a little bit light on her cut mm. there. She's got a good swing. Yeah. There's something about left handers. They always have the prettiest swings. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Left handers and baseball, softball. Good eye. Two and two the count. Now, is this their final game of the year? Or do, are they playing Friday as well against uh, Manila? On junior high? I don't know. This is their final game? Okay. So this is their final it game? It is. Okay. Oh, in the dark, gets past Three, two, her. full count. Oh, she lost that one at the very beginning. Put like a bowling ball going down the lane there. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> full count here. Payoff pitch coming. Righty on lefty. Oh, a little high. Four. Well, the leadoff runner's on. That's a good thing for the Bobcats. Yes, sir. See if we can get our five here. Now, I've seen uh, – I've seen her on the court, how fast she is. We'll see how fast she is on the base pads here. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Coach Songer uh, lets her fly here. This is Alexis Berry here. Oh, Ooh, did it hit her? It did hit her. Wow. Yeah. Way to wear it there. Okay. Oh, she's a tough one. She'll, they'll never make her flinch. <laughs> <laughs> Berry's going to have a strawberry there on, on her. Mm -hmm. That ball came in hot and heavy. This is our pitcher, Jolie Kennedy, coming up. Kennedy looks like she can absolutely rip a baseball. Yes, sir, she can. Usually her three-hole hitters will. There Speaking of, right to the oh. shortstop, though. Oh. Good play by Pickett's shortstop. Yes, sir. Where that those runners have jumped off. That was Simpson over there, I do believe, at shortstop. Yeah, and she did. She immediately got her head up looking to second there. Of course, nobody was covering, though, for the throw. Right. But Chop back to the pitcher. Pitcher oh, comes up, picks it up. Oh. Lost it, and that's going to be an infield hit for the Bobcats. And now all of a sudden, base is juice here with one down. Opportunity to capitalize here. Five-hole hitter, number 23. See, I don't know who she is. I think she's a new girl, just came in this year. Let's see if the new girl can get us some runs on the board here. She'll get outside. Throw down a third. The ball gets away. That's going to advance the runner. And Lindsay's going to score. That's the first run for the Bobcats. One. You still got Bobcats at first and second. One out. Still Four. plenty of action. Yeah, I, I said she was fast on the on a hardwood. She's fast on the yeah, on the grass Sorry. too. My goodness. That gets away from the catcher. Ball. She's going to throw to third. That's the a runner's great. all safe. That's a great job by the third baseman there, and I believe Digging that's that Sanders. Yes. Hey, I'll tell you what that ball right there hit back to that pitcher. That was tough. That was right that's, on the yeah, fringe right that's, there. That's she tough, yeah. Hit that dirt and grass right there. And yeah. There's so many, and of course when you're battling the elements, it makes it even harder. Yes, sir. Oh, good pitch. And speaking of that, we talked earlier about the ball being wet and everything, but what we didn't talk about is your hand. You know, when it's wet, the ball is getting dirt, it's getting grass clippings, it's getting whatever, and then mm -hmm. it's getting on your hands, and then your hands kind of change just texture. Just wrinkle. Just, and, yeah, there's yeah. just so much differences. Uh, to that. And I tell you what, that, that's where it would make it so hard to be in a pitcher. <laughs> Extremely difficult. Count one and two here. Hey, listen, this is a big ordeal here. You got two strikes now. You got two runners got in scoring protect. position, yes. Oh. Hey, she went down swinging. At least she didn't let him make the call. That is that is very true. She definitely did. She was hacking at it. Coach Songer gives her a little bit of tutelage as she goes by. And now two down. Tell you, Pete gets out of here with only one run. That's actually a win for them, I would say. Mm -hmm. Oh, stretch. Took one. Just sent you point. Okay. And she took that one right there on the back. Right in the back. Oh, I'm just kidding. She's kind of, she's kind of, yeah. <laughs> she's kind of gingerly uh, walking uh, to first. The body shot. 
Base is loaded again for Lady Bobcats. Oh, this is Marley. Marley swinging through that one. Sissel. Oh, and one to count. Langley with the delivery. Oh, oh, oh foul did tip. Is it a foul tip or did I it? Thought it was. Runner will score. I, I thought I heard I something. I thought it was foul tip, but I maybe it come off the catcher's maybe, mask. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah, that's, that's very, yeah, very it's possible. 5-2. And you got a runner advancing to second, third, so you still got runners in scoring position here. But you got two down. Two outs. One, one count. Oh. You could see that. She just lost the yeah. grip as, yeah. as she released there. I tell you, that was a wild bounce. It hit the very top of the pad that went straight up. Mm -hmm. it, didn't hit the, it went straight up. That was really wild. Mm -hmm. I don't see that very often. Two, one to count. Oh, foul out of play. It's going to go about three rows back on the gravel. Yeah. Deuce is wild for Corning here. Foul ball, way to battle. Tell you what, Marley's not taking anything from that pitcher. She's no, she's not. In there to in it to win it, as she's, they say. Uh, yeah, she's hanging in there tight. This is a good little battle right here in a big, big spot early on. Oh, three two. That's a great job working the count here. Mm -hmm. Battling off, battling off. Wait until you get your pitch. If you don't get it, don't swing. Mm -hmm. It's just a great at bat here, and she's a little bit down the lineup, is she not? Yes, sir. Yeah, what, number eight? Or yeah, so. that's a great at bat from your eight-hole hitter. Oh, pass ball. Runner scores. She's up. Stretch moves to third. That's going to put Marley on first with two outs. This is Katie Finley up. And now you've got your tying run at first base with Finley coming up. I assume she uh, Marley will be running here on the pitch. We'll see. There she uh, goes. There she goes. Tell you what, if uh, oops, lost our camera here for a second. Hang on, just a second, guys. We'll get that fixed. There we go. Ooh. Dead ball. Hit the batter. That's going to have the bases loaded again. Again. I tell you what, we we may be in for a high-scoring yeah. affair here. <laughs> Goodness. Both both offenses. This is Elise Yarborough. Stretch is going to come in and score. Going to make it 5-4. to four. How about Corning battling back here? You get down 5 nothing at the first, you kind of be down, especially on your home field. You feel like you come out and – have a good uh, outing against your rivals. You get down early, and then they're battling back. I love this. Oh, yeah, and especially, I mean, with two outs. It's mm -hmm. a two-out rally here. Oh. Oh, man. Another dead batter. Oh, and I believe she, <laughs> she, uh, <laughs> I believe she would have charged the mound. I Andy. think so, man. At least had a little, so. little bad there. I yeah. think she took that personal. I, I want to tell you something. You get hit in the shins. It does not feel good. Oh, no, no. I tell you, the worst one I ever had got hit in the ankle right there on the bone. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. I ran it off like it was no big deal, but I was crying on the That's inside, the I promise time. you. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> Base is juiced. Did that hit her? That hit her. That did hit her. So there's your five runs right there. That was Macy Bosch. Well, great. how about this first inning? Uh, <laughs> five to five. Oh, man. I guess they're batting. Round robin batting all of them because that was Macy Bauschlicker. Okay. Got hit. So. Okay, I didn't know. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Okay, I didn't know that. So I guess on Piggott's side, we'll need to know these names too then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, good. Oh, Lordy. I got to stretch it out, man. Oh, appreciate you being here. I uh, I didn't get back in time for the first batter, but uh, oh, that's all right. you, all saved, right. you saved us there. <laughs> you had our backs. Appreciate Rich Martin too. Rich, uh, yes, sir. Rich enjoys doing the softball. Oh yeah. What's going on? No work. Nothing yet. No, nothing yet. It's been placed, but nothing yet. I, I'm like you. I'm impatient. <laughs> Appreciate the crowd here, Corning. 
Yeah. I, if there's one thing I could say I wish we had here was a press box. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. Yes, sir. Press box. But it'll work. Canopy works. Canopy works, yep. Good ball field. Um, man, I tell you, it's, we, we talk about in the senior high game, Coach Songer, this is his baby. It this is field. his baby, now, he, man. He, I tease him, I ask him if he gets out here with clippers, you know, because <laughs> scissors, because. It does look good. It always looks good, mm -hmm. too. He keeps it mowed. And, and they'll have, uh, I guess, what, two more uh, two more games yes, sir. on this field before the season's over with. Regular season, that is. And then uh, I guess Monday, from my understanding, Monday we'll be playing some softball in Gosnell, Arkansas, it sounds like. Yes, sir. District tournament. Oh, going to get – oh, good Great catch. job. Great job Marley, out there. Marley, I believe. I think Marley that was. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what she did good there. A lot of kids at this age will just back pedal. Yep. She, she turned and ran. Ran. Yeah, she yep. turned and ran. Great job there. And she was playing in pretty far. Mm -hmm. Ball high. Stretch was charging the play. Uh. <laughs> She's about halfway down the line. <laughs> We like no one ever not or yeah. Goldschmidt uh, coming up against a bun or something. Yeah. I don't know who the coaches are for Piggott. I would give them a shout out, but don't know who they are. Brings a count. Is that two and oh? Uh, it looks like it. One out. Five to five. Top of the second inning. There's a strike. So I just wonder is is it is it school affiliated at Pickett then? With well, the coaches, maybe not. No, I I, I I can't answer that, but I would yeah. think it was. Okay. Oh, ooh, off the. Ooh, hopefully she's okay there. That's one of those give her the concussion protocol. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You always guess two. If they put fingers, you always <laughs> yeah, guess yeah. two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's about ringing your bell. Mm -hmm. Now, if she starts taking off to steal a base and she runs towards the scoreboard, we know, we know something's, something's wrong. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That that rain kind of picking back up. Yes, sir. Fly ball. Oh, the, first, oh, the, the runner on first that. better. Oh, say so the runner on first better get back. They're gonna oh, double her up. Hey, yes, sir. Great job. As you watch the replay here. Hey, I wish you could see that ball when that is hit. It makes a hard left yeah, with it, that It's wind. telling, yeah. That, yeah. That, I, wow. don't, I don't remember who caught that, but now they short got a stop. good Whoever was that shortstop there? Tracking that ball. Alexis Berry, yeah, position six. So Alexis yeah. Berry did a heck of a job there. Like, like Mike said, not only battling the wind, but the elements of rain's coming down right now. Uh, that was a heck of a job. And then the Werethal to look up. The runner at first never even stopped. No, yeah. sir. She was, was in second before she <laughs> caught the ball. That's right. Never even stopped. Heck of a way to get out of there. So all the firepower of the first inning for the Lady Mohawks, and they don't get a thing here in the second. Corning needs to capitalize and yep. get their five here. And How about the haircut here of Coach Daniels? Yeah. That is Styling nice. Styling and profile. That is nice. I couldn't. I got too big of a forehead to pull off. <laughs> yes, sir. Looking good. Looking good. So, have you been racing any more kids lately? No, no, no. no. I believe my racing days are over. <laughs> my racing days are over. Probably not. I'm too competitive. But, uh, oh, man. I tell you. you showed me that video. I, I, you said something about it. I'm like, oh, it wasn't a big deal. I was like, oh, my God. It really was. <laughs> And, of course, you know, oh. Gracie and everybody, they had to take and they slowed it down frame by frame <laughs> and got that Superman pose where I'm, I'm completely horizontal in the air. And, uh, uh, well, that's, that's what kids are for. Man. Yeah. They, yeah. That's actually, that, that, I mean, when you first show, I'm like, oh, my God, that's bad. But then the more I watch, I'm like, that's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I lived, so it was that's all. Yeah, that's all that matters, yeah. You're still here today. Yeah. Ball. Langley, well, Langley still pitching for Piggott. And I believe. Come on, Kelsey, you got this. This is Kelsey. Okay. Uh, well, Masterson. Okay, Kelsey, okay. We didn't have her number on here, so I, got, I see it now. Number 12. That's that outside strike right there. 
It's been there all one night. Oh, yes, sir. Both both umpires have called that, and like I said, rightly so. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, good pitch. Don't Tell bring. you, Langley's got the right idea. She's got her rag there in the back pocket, mm -hmm. kind of wipe that hand off every now and then. Yeah, I noticed Jolie Candy had one yeah. of those, too. Do you know, I noticed neither one of our senior high, senior high had it. <laughs> Peg it or uh, Corning yeah. that I, I remember. I know Corning didn't. Oh. That was eye level there. Two and two, I believe, to count. Here comes the rain. I don't know if you can hear that at home or not, but here comes the rain. And the wind picks up. Ooh. Another high and inside. high and inside. Well, I tell you, she's hit, what, three or four batters. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to bring the count to three and two, I believe. There's Kelsey, two strikes. Kelsey says, I'd rather not hang in there and take that hit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. This is your leadoff batter here in the bottom of the second. Ooh. Good eye. Good eye. That'll be a leadoff batter on for the Lady Bobcats. And this is uh, Aubrey Valance, I believe. Yes. AV coming to bat. The leadoff runner on. She's looking back at Coach Songer, waiting for the call. Coach says, swing away, young lady. Let it rip. Emma King up to. Oh, that ball got way oh, yeah. away from her. Kelsey better get down. That's not a bad throw from the catcher there. Uh, no. Well, I'll tell you what, those high ones are coming off at the fence. Just, yeah, all, they are. They really are. Usually they'll die off that no, fence. Normally, kinda. yes. That, we've had a couple of those. It's kind of odd. She's going. She better get down. Good. That was a good slide right there. Way to mm -hmm. get down underneath the tag there. This catcher for Pickett is not bad. No. Uh, that is McKinney, I believe. Yeah, McKinney. I actually did a really good job, con considering where the pitches were, to even have a shot, shot and make it close. Yes, sir. Too old to count. Oh. Ooh, yeah, that came right back to her. <laughs> Kelsey says, eh, I'll put the parachute on. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do a U-turn. Yeah. Yeah. 3-0 and the count. Yeah. Lead off batter. Walked and has advanced to third. There's a strike. Three and one. That's a good comeback there from Langley. Mm -hmm. It's kind of struggled with the strike zone, and then when she needed it really bad, got it right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, again. Wow. Full count. Coming hey, right back at her. Lost the here. ball there for yeah. a second. Full count here. No out. Bottom of the second. Walked her. They're kind of See. fortunate they didn't hit her either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Way inside one hopper. Took her bat way down. I just, I just noticed that too. Umpire says, hey, come on, guys. Let's get that bat. Coach Daniels, I don't think, realizes that's his. <laughs> Here comes our bat boy. He's like, hey, man. <laughs> that's awesome. You know what it was? He just wanted a little TV time. Yeah. That's yeah. what it was. Yes, sir. He knew what he was doing. He said, watch this. Watch this, Mom and Dad. I'm going to get on TV. Watch this. Oh, strike. I tell you, she's she's battling back. I know, I know that last one that walked, but three out of her last four pitches have been good. Mm -hmm. This is Emma King up for your junior lady cats. snag by the catcher there. I don't know that it would have mattered. I don't think she would have been going on that, but you never know. <clears throat> now the runner on second's got to be careful not to overrun and, yes. and then fall down like we've seen all day. Strike at inside corner. Counts one and two. Oh, Ooh, dead ball. Man. That didn't sound I good don't know. at all. <laughs> our, our runners, are, our batters are carrying their bat the wrong way. <laughs> Look here, he's on it. He's on there it. There he is. Look at the hustle that time. <laughs> <laughs> Head back. He's going turbo. To, I mean, he's a hundred mile an hour, mm -hmm. man. 
You know, you say you say hustle, and that's the definition of it. Yes, right sir. There. He's not half hearted it. He's committed. Oh, strike one. Bases loaded here, no out, still no out. It's a jam for Piggott. Strike two. How about that? I think it's the first count that she's been ahead like this. Mm -hmm. O2. This is a Kyra Cole. Let's see if Cole can knock the leather off the ball here. Oh! Well, instead she got that ball. That's going to bring in a run, though. Of course, Bobcats will take that. 6-5. Mm -hmm. Base is still loaded. This could be Piggott's game plan to rough us up and hit enough for the <laughs> batters to rough us up. I believe we're going to have a uh, pitching change here. I don't think Langley wanted to go. She she bulleted that to yeah. the next pitcher. She said, I didn't want to come out, Coach. That's number 13. That's going to be Tompkins coming in uh, from right field, and she'll take the uh, the towel as well. Langley's going to go to short. So who's uh, – I didn't – who went to right? The shortstop, I believe. Okay, okay. I wasn't paying attention when I was – so we got Tompkins on the bump now. Coach is out there trying to – <laughs> Maybe settle her down. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Yeah. Well, you know these girls. I mean, even at this age, I, I knew what Corning Pickett meant. You know, oh, yeah. so even at this, you know they know this is a rivalry game. You know yeah. this is one that they want. So. Hey, I'll tell you what. It goes all the way down to Pee Wee. It really does. Yeah, it really does. I remember, I'll never forget, seventh grade uh, football and uh, Coach Chad Jordan telling us about all the uh, the history and stuff, and which we already knew a little bit about it, but hearing his passion and, and what it meant to him, like it kind of pumped us up, you know. Yes, sir. Um, so, yeah, at a young age, you kind of hear about it and you know about it. It's kind of neat. And, you know, it's not really a – it's definitely not a county rivalry, but I'd say the the, the next biggest one would be Manila. It seems I like think so. It, it feels – it feels like we always have close games with them. Yeah. In, in every sport, mm -hmm. um, football, basketball, baseball, softball, yeah. um, for some reason. When you hear it's either beat Piggott or beat Manila yeah. every time. And, yeah. You know, I mean, it's uh, those two are – oh, that outside corner. That's – strike. Is this? Is this? Are we back to the top of our lineup? I was trying to. I was looking for the same thing there. Uh, I think Lindsay Robbins. Uh, Robbins was the top. Or yeah, Robinson no, was the top of our lineup. lineup. Yeah, she's lefty, so that's not her. Who is this? All right. I didn't have anybody. After I don't either. Chicago. Yeah, I don't. I don't either. Hey, she's got a great opportunity here, though. I think this is McAllister. I believe. I believe she was on the junior high team last year that I coached. I believe. Okay. I can't get a look at her face. Okay. I'd like to see a, uh, a McBomb from McAllister here. Plant one out there in the left center field. Let's clear the bases. Hey. Strike. I've lost the count there. I guess that was strike three since she walked off. I guess so, yeah. So that's one down. Now we're back, yes, sir. One out. We're Now we're back to the top of the lineup. Top of the lineup. So give Tompkins some credit there. Comes in. And oh, good cut from Swing Lindsay. through it. Strike one. Yes. Strike two. I'll tell you. Lindsay doesn't get cheated on these swings. I mean, she is really going at it. Yep. We got Miss Cool Shades over here. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Track three. That's out number two. I tell you, Tompkins has come in and absolutely done what you'd want her to do. Mm -hmm. Came into a jam here and is looking awful good. Base is loaded. The rain's starting to pick up a little bit. It is. Here's Barry at the plate. I'm about to move the chair right here. That was a ball. There you go. I'll move over if you need it, if you need me to. Tompkins using that rag to wipe her hands off. Two down. Base is juiced. Strike. It's a good pitch. I'm gonna tell you. 
She's all even when she's missing, she's not missing by much. No, sir. Alexis Berry. There's a knockout. Gonna hey. score a run. Gonna score two. Good. Great job right there. That's an awesome eight, eight hit. To five. That's what we needed right there. Two yes. out hit. She ambushed that thing, yeah. pulled it down the left side, and even with the wet grass, it rolled all the way out the outfield. Mm -hmm. That was big. Big hit. Two outs. But I think against Tompkins, you're going to have to do that. I don't think she's going to go around and walking everybody oh, no. like we had earlier. She's no. been pumping strikes. Still two runners on here. Two outs. Ball low. Well, Barry got way mm. out there. She's about three foot past the dirt there, down the first base, first second base line. Oh, chopper! Oh no! <laughs> we got an error on the head coach. <laughs> Man, now here's what he's gonna say. He's gonna say if it wasn't a wet day, he'd have yeah, got it. Yeah. Number twenty-two, Jolly Kennedy up. I thought we had Ozzy Smith over mm. there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but not so much. <laughs> uh, Coach, big Cardinals fan. Went to oh, open, yeah. opening day, actually. Mm -hmm. Chop back foul. You know, he uh, he umpires out at the City yeah. League. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he does a lot for the community. He just, does. Just not here. He, like I said, he comes out and yeah. umps at the City League. And always. He, offici uh, he officiates uh, uh, some peewee basketball Pee as well. Yeah. Uh, Good hit, good hit. Got over the. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Send her home. Oh! Overthrown ball. Gonna make it nine to five. So your third baseman did the best she could there. Mm -hmm. Just it just took a, it just took a bad hit. hop. It just, right yeah, here. it really did. Uh, Sanders did a great job getting in position and then just a bad hop. And it might have hit on the fringe there too. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't quite see, but either way, that's big and. Uh, how about the base running, too, by the Bobcats? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Up nine to five. Runner at second and third. Molly Janes. Oh, oh, my goodness. That ball was hit hard. It cleared. Uh, that's my Suburban. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> I parked it behind the concession stand. Thinking you'd be fine. And it still yeah. got it. Yeah, in, yes, a in a junior high game. Yeah, in a junior yeah. high game, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Man, that one cleared the concession stand. I'll yeah. tell you what. If that ball's hit fair down the right field, I don't know where that goes, but it's a, a shot. Strike two. No, it's a strike. She swung at it. That's right. 0 oh and 2. Two outs. I tell you, it'd be hard to hit one out with this wind, though. Oh, man. Coming at you. Ball high. It's definitely it's definitely blowing in. Almost mm, ball high. Whoa, we've got runners. Just tempting the catcher to throw. She really is, yeah. And I don't really think the catcher would have a problem throwing it. No, no, she can tell she's <laughs> antsy. She's uh not trigger shy. Oh, strike three. Hey. Tompkins came in here and, she, yeah, she did. like you said, done what she was asked. Yeah, threw strikes. I mean, that's all you can ask her to do is just throw strikes, get in there and throw strikes, give us a chance, make them earn it. Listen, mm -hmm. let's just don't give them anything, you know. You know, we tell girls all the time, you know, put the ball in play. Yes. You know, girls will come over here, you know, all down because they hit it, got thrown out. I'm like, yeah. hey, you put it in play, that's all you, you gave can us do. an opportunity. Yeah. yeah. You gave us an opportunity. That's because big... when the ball leaves the bat, anything can happen. Bingo. That's the truth, especially at this age, too, because, you know, these mm -hmm. kids are still learning the fundamentals. They're still learning so many things, and you just don't know. It could be an absolute uh, roller coaster on the infield oh, yeah. sometimes with oh. these girls. And I believe the – I don't know that it was the last junior high game, but it was the last junior high game I got to watch. I believe Molly Janes had a little dribbler about like a bunt, but yeah. it was a hit, Yeah, and she wound up uh, – getting home on it oh, from all the errors. An, so, an infield inside the park home run. Yes, yes. <laughs> and so, I mean, yeah, you just put the ball in play. That's right. Put the ball in play and give your, give yourself a chance. Give yourself a chance. Yeah, you're right. Uh, even our pitchers uh, have got the uh, the rag out. Mm -hmm. Dry on the hand. That's a good idea. I think the umpire's been very consistent tonight, too. Want to give them a shout-out? Oh, yeah. Done a good job. 
Give a shout out to my IT guy back home, Colton Ladyman, also our sponsors. Uh, one of them is right here next to me. Appreciate everybody for supporting us. Hey, we appreciate you. All right, it's you, it's you, fun. I enjoy it, man. You've taken this thing and, and uh, started off, and you ran with it. And I never thought it'd ever get to this point, but – uh, but it's because y'all support it. Everyone supports it, and it's uh, it's been fun, man. It really has. We. I remember when you called me the first year you were going to start it. I I was glad. Yeah. You know, and, and yeah. there there wasn't any schools doing it. Uh, yeah, that's true. And, and and what was weird about that first year is we didn't really have anything to show the the spot. Watching games, yeah, yeah, from little from the heart of Arkansas. That's, that's right, it. that's right. God's country here. That's yeah. right. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We've actually been seen from all fifty states, and then like seventy six countries, which mm -hmm. is just I didn't even know there were seventy six countries that existed. <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, um, but evidently there are, and uh, that, that's just neat to see that man. And it's so cool the the fan base uh, supports it like that. Uh, we sure appreciate you guys. But yeah, I don't understand those. Streaming companies are there and, and won't even stream the junior high game or seventh grade game when they're there. It's just silly to me, but mm -hmm. that's how it is. And there's some, like you said, some schools won't even stream baseball or softball at all. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of weird. But uh, counts three and two now. I don't know that our sponsors and parents would let us do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd have an uprising. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. I don't think I'd have no phone call. I had to change my number. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> don't think that'd work out too well. The rain is really coming Picking down now. Again. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see that on the screen or not, but it is really coming down here. We lost the handle on that. She's kind of frustrating herself, but hey. Yeah. And of course, it starts coming down when Corning is pitching. Pitching. That has been the theme of the day. For whatever reason, we cannot catch a break. Um, Becky Ingram said, "Way to go, Lexi." That was from earlier. I missed that uh, comment. Yeah, that was earlier. on that hit that she had there. Yeah. That, oh, that two yeah. Out. Yeah, that was nice. That was really nice. We'll cover that up again. I know it's causing some problems, but we'll cover it up. Yes, ma'am. Come in there. How about that? Just lost one, lost control of the first one. The next one comes right down the heart. Come right back at her. Yeah. 0-1 to count. Now, does, does future Miss Townsend want to jump on a headset? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> she, she didn't even hesitate. Nuh-uh. Uh -uh. Not going to happen. Umpire swapping balls out pretty quick here. Yeah, you see this little kid? Oh, he sounded like a general in war when I first charged. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, nice play. Play. play at first. Oh, my goodness. Stretch with the stretched out. And she stretched to get it. 
Got her jersey. Like, she's like, that's not a big deal. Eh, whatever, yeah. guys. Whatever. Yeah, it's just a play. Hey, that. She made it look easy, though. Oh, she did. Hey, that makes that pitcher feel better, that. Oh, yes. Yes, because, yeah. Because she obviously put it in there. You got a good she's strike. She's putting it in the work. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's what you preach to these kids. You know, you got to. Your pitcher's got to put strikes. If they're going to hit it, you got to yeah, you got to you, you, help them. Yeah, and that's the thing too. You got to trust those girls behind you, and you got to trust that they're going to make that play. And, and when you've got that trust, that's big. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't easy. Again, we talked about that at first, but you've got the bag, the base runner, the assistant coach, coach over there. Yeah. There's a lot going on over the there. Rain, the, the rain, the wind, the wind, <laughs> the wet field, <laughs> your wet glove. Oh, Did that hit her. Bad ball. Okay. Yeah, that definitely got her. Well, we've seen our fair share of uh, hit batters uh, today. That wet, wet ball just yeah, causing some problems for sure. For yes, both. sir. Kudos to Coach Songer for uh, sticking with the game plan. He was going to try to play this game, which, of course, mm -hmm. it's conference game. Yeah. You know, through and through. He was and pig it. Yeah. And pig <laughs> it. That does, yeah. That definitely helps, too. Yeah. And kudos for Pickett for they probably on. They probably uh, got that phone call and thought, what is he thinking? thinking yes, <laughs> Looking sir. at the radar and everything. But they came up. Man, they, but made, they probably thought, it's corning. It's corning. <laughs> <laughs> they beat us at our home. We're going to. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You get beat at home, you want to come oh, yeah. and you, return the favor. You want that, yeah. yeah. You want that shot at it. I wish I knew the standings for senior girls softball. I, uh, from what we've been told, that we're more than likely playing Manila uh, no matter what happens Friday. So that's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. So obviously every game matters. I mean, you're you're putting pride on the line no matter what. You want to win. You want to protect your home field, especially on senior day, mm -hmm. um, which I guess that'll be, that'll be Thursday. But either way, your last home game. But I just wonder if we kind of tinker with something, maybe pitch someone different or mm -hmm. – um, you know, if it's not going to matter for standings uh, or seating, I think it'll be save a, your better pitch. Well, yeah, that, that's your what, yeah. main pitching for. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But it, there again, it's going to be hard to tell a senior. Oh man, it's <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell a senior that. It's hard to tell Coach Songer that. It's hard yeah, to tell a lot of them that. You know, how do you uh, how do you get them to okay that? You know, I, I don't I don't know if they will. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah. They got some pride, and they want to win that game. Now, I think we lost the game at Manila. Yes, sir, we did. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah, we want to even that up if we can. Yeah. Plus, if you did it, just give them confidence going into going Monday. Going in, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if you know. The, the shortstop was flying in there for the Bobcats. I don't know if you saw that. No, I couldn't see it for the umpire there. And now the second baseman's walking in here. Are they expecting a bunt here with the bases loaded? No, I think she's just walking in to give a little moral support for oh, okay. a second, oh, okay. maybe. Uh, well, maybe she is. <laughs> she's going <laughs> to hang around. Wow, this is interesting. The, the infield is way, way in right now. Of course, the wind is gusting this way, so even if she did hit it in the air, I don't know. 2-0. Oh. I heard Jolie was a little disgust there. She, yeah. But it's wet ball. Outfield still your typical depth. All the way across. She wants it in the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> Shake it off, sis. You're all right. Yeah. Those uh, hand dryers now in the restroom mm -hmm. and stuff. The umpires <laughs> need those on the side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> need one out there on the mound. That's man. right. That you can just yeah put the Instead ball over. Ball cleaner at the golf yeah. course. You need yeah, a yeah. ball dryer. Yeah. Boy, the last thing here you want to do is walk in a run. Mm -hmm. We got one out here. Sure would be nice to. Three oh, hey, the rain's let up all of a sudden here. It did. Just so did the wind, rain. <laughs> oh, swing. swinging on three. three oh, one. how yeah. about that? Do you think Coach gave the green light, or do you know. think she just, <laughs> <laughs> just said, "I'm"? That's a good one. I'm gonna swing at it. <laughs> Coach, I see your uh, see your red light, and I'll raise you a, uh, a grand slam. How about that? Yeah. Oh, this time she takes. Him. That's going to bring in a run. Going to make it nine to six. Now it's back to that just missed. That just yeah. 
And the tying run is at first with only one out right now. High pitch. Now she's kind of struggling to find that strike zone. On this wet, dreary, windy day, according to Arkansas. Day. This is uh, trying to see who this is. Langley, maybe number two. If it's two, it is Langley. Yeah. For Piggy. Yeah. She's a starting pitcher for them. That's right. Right down the wheel. Oh, and one. Yeah, it is number two, Langley. <laughs> We've seen a lot of Langleys uh, for Piggy. Had some in senior high. Senior high, yes. Yeah. I believe they're senior high boys team had a Langley basketball this year too, if I remember right. Jelly Kennedy taking time to dry the ball off, try to get her a good pitch. Ball in the dirt, be one and one. Excuse me. Oh, you're good, buddy. You're good. Nine six. Again, the tying run on first right now. Your go ahead run at the plate. One ball, one strike, one out for the Lady Mohawks. Oh, foul ball. Well, she about chop that off her own foot. Mm -hmm. It does not feel good either when you do that. 2-2 two is our count. Two balls, two strikes. One out here. This is the top half of the third inning. Be nice to go ahead and get this right here. Oh, wow. Oh, she's going to get down. Oh, and she missed the get in. Hit the cutoff. Throw to four. What? That's going to tie the ball game. Nine to nine is your score all of a sudden, just like that. I think it's going to leave it. Is that nine to nine? I believe so. I believe she scored. Uh, well, I thought. I may be wrong. Yeah, there they put the fourth one up. Oh, did you see that? Uh, Piggot batter, Jolly Candy was up here, and Piggot batter kind of patted her on the back, you know. That's yeah. the that's the yeah. Tompkins that was pitching. She's oh, like, hey, okay, okay. <laughs> gotcha. you're doing good, you know. You like to see the sport. Oh, no, yeah, absolutely. You know I mean? Absolutely, especially in these rivalry games like you know? that. That went right off our camera. Mm -hmm. I mean, right off it. Folks, watch this again. I mean, literally hit it right square on the lens. Watch this. Bam. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> It's still up. It's got a little smudge on the top right. Yeah. That could be a crack, but that'll be all right. I'm going to go work on it here for just a second while Mike calls this. Ball one, no strikes. Coming. Hey, said she was under the tag. And that's going to be five runs for Pickett. Have I, am I still on? I don't yeah, I think you are. Yeah, you're still on. You're still on. Yep. Didn't sound like it. It kind of changed sounds on me there. Gotcha. Oh, makes it 10 to 9. Piggott scored their five. Okay, so three innings. What's up? She's wanting to say hi. Well, here, do it. You can do it. There you go. Well, well you, you do it. You figure it out. There you go. Thank you, well, that's how you're going to say hi. Can I just be on TSR? Well, yeah. Well, you got to ask. I'm going to sit here. You ain't got to ask. I guess, yeah, that's good. Do your thing. Okay. Hey, everybody. <laughs> There's our camera right there. Mike and Joe joining us here for a moment. What's your, what's your uh, what's your thoughts on the game so far? I think that we're gonna step our game up. I like that. I like that. I like the attitude. I think you're right. I want to ask you about Coach Connor's haircut here. What do you think? I think he rocks it. He rocks it. Yeah. yeah. It's a good looking dude. It almost looks like a perm of some sort. With yeah, that's impressive. It's his natural hair. 
Yeah, I think he's lying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's fibbing everybody there. I think he's had to have a turn somewhere in there. Yeah, I think he's definitely fibbing. That's just my opinion. All right. Rain's coming down again. She airmailed that one out to center. Yeah. <laughs> is this a new picture or is this all? This is still Tompkins. Okay. Yep. Yep. Tompkins I've did a good job. You, I guess, or something. I'm not yeah, you yeah, that. and that, that happens sometimes. It's these headsets and the mixer. Sometimes you'll hear me. Sometimes you won't. Sometimes we can mess around with That's these. That's when I thought I'd lo- I'd lost mine. No, it's it's still showing still you've got showing. audio, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, as far as hearing each other, sometimes we. There we go. I don't matter. Ball one. Battling the bats here. Yeah, it just ain't gonna happen. But this is the. Sometimes you can hit it and it'll work too. The girl, I didn't know. Riley Remus. It's gonna be ball three. Ball three. In a 10 9 game here at Lady Bobcat Field. And it is tough weather, tough conditions for these kids. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get through Ball though. four. Lead off batter on base with a walk. That's your tying run right there. Stretch up to the plate. Made an oh. awesome stretch at oh. first for an out. Incredible catch, man. Made it look easy, too. I mean, mm-hmm. really, really did. You can tell she's got a bright future. Strike. One and one. Good count. All these scammers that come on these pages, and yeah, that's uh, it, it gets I, old. Yeah. yeah, just for the record, we'll never ask you for your credit card ever, like ever, ever, ever. So, if anybody's asking for a credit card, don't do not do that. We don't you ever know, charge. You see that on any time I share anything, yeah, CSR or yeah. anything, they're, they're popping up. Yeah, strike runner's gonna advance. Oh, she almost, I tell you what, she about took the batter out there, <laughs> point blank range, mm-hmm. too. Supposed to be telling us that. <laughs> telling us that. I think it's one and two, isn't it? Ball and two strikes. But I'm not positive. We got you talking to. <laughs> You're supposed to be keeping up with that. Foul ball. I tell you, from here, I thought she swung through, missed it, and it hit her. But they're that saying foul ball. I about took one on the head there. Mm-hmm. Boy, it's gotten chilly as it's starting to get dark. It has. Yeah, you're right. In. Yeah, it really has. Runner advancing to third. I tell you, she's done a great job on those base paths. Yes. Great, great job. Yes, sir. There we go. Yeah, it fixed itself out yeah. there. But, yeah, that absolutely did. She caused some chaos there for sure. And and here's the thing, too, as a catcher, obviously everyone's yelling.
Yeah, here. There All right. you go. Stretch Gores on a throwing error. Okay, I figured out what was wrong there. We had water in the power strip port where our audio mixer was hooked up at. Okay. And that's what was causing the problems. Water everywhere. All right, so I need to fix our score now. 11 to 10. Ball high. Is this Katie Finley up? I think you're right. I can't see hardly anything. Runner's going to advance. Oh, catcher. Oh, catcher. Well, Slid and fell. That grass is rough, especially when you're running 100 mile an hour mm -hmm. then putting on the brakes. That is Katie Finley at the bat. Two Eleven. balls, no strikes. 11 10. Yep. For a new ball. 11 10 here in the third. Um, Corning has scored two runs this inning, so they would be able to score three more if they can. Batter Pitcher asked for a new ball. I think I just asked for a new day. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, the most uh, unideal conditions, but, man, they are battling through it. It's really cooled off here. Wind's picking up again. Rain's picking up. It really ha – you said that earlier, and, and, man, as soon as you said that, I started feeling it. Now I'm really feeling it. Yeah. I think it's a middle thing. Middle thing, yes, yeah. sir. Foul ball. Going to bring count two and two. It's like the – Smoky Mountain Range, where it's real smoky mm -hmm. looking All around foggy here. Yeah, foggy and rainy, and you got a lot of that around us right now. Hey, the sun did come out there for a while, though. Mm -hmm. yeah, little... Oh, she got that high ball, and look at there. Hey, that's that uh, putting the ball in play. And good things happen. And she had some good wheels down mm -hmm. first as well. 12 yeah. 10 is your score now. For the junior high lady bobcat. That's one of those, uh, she scored a run and got on base, but it was pretty high ball. That's right, my gosh. <laughs> it, it was. That's one of them, what do you do? Yeah, uh, that's right. As a coach, you yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, Good job, don't you ever do it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've said that sometimes as a fan watching games. I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah, great, great yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, great yeah. job. <laughs> Katie's going to advance a second. Elise Yarborough up to bat. Yeah, Yarborough. Let's see if she can plant one in the outfield here and score us a run. She's liable to, you know, as mad as she got it with that. <laughs> she got hit in the foot earlier. Yeah. yeah. I want to tell you something, that's got to hurt. Now you're ready. One and one. I don't see any kind of shin pads or anything on her. Oh, no. she got. I mean, she took it right on the, the bone. Green laces on her cleats. Track two. That's a good pitch. Coach Hunger well, yeah. said, hey, that's a good pitch. Yeah, that's one you wanted, he said. Let's go yeah. now. Runner in scoring position here. Three. It's going to bring two outs. I tell you, Tompkins did a good job there. She went in, then went out mm -hmm. on back to back strikes there. Lefty up. That's right. Le lefty Lindsay up that's here. That's right. Le lefty Lindsay leadoff. She's yeah. a leadoff hitter yeah. as well for the Bobcats. At second here for ball Lindsay. one, I could see Lindsay being a bunt candidate. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, is she? I could see that. Pass ball and Katie's going to roll on down to third. I tell you, Katie doesn't wait for anything. It's just instinct. She goes. Mm -hmm. She's not hesitant. Like some mm -hmm. kids are kind of hesitant. Then they'll go. Then yeah. they'll, no, she's just gone. She puts her head down and just uh, hits it. Hits it overdrive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Two balls, no strikes. 12 to 10. Tompkins still on the mound for Pickett. Ball four. Lindsay to first. She chunked that bat. Ready to. Well, time we're down from first to second here. So I'm going to say I'm, I'm going to say this is going to be a a take it. <laughs> yeah, Coach yeah. Hunter. Red light. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's, he's like. like yeah. Tompkins trying to clean off the uh, rubber, which is uh, not doing any good. <laughs> no. 
Bless her heart, she's trying. Lindsay giving Coach Songer the thumbs up from first. She goes, nobody covers. She was there pretty quick, and she wasn't even really hustling on that one. Knew she had it. Alexis Berry up. Corning on the uh, scores by inning, five in the first, four in the second, three so far in the third. Got a 5-4-3 there. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can play on a couple more here. Pick it with the 505. And yeah. yeah. They battled back that last inning for mm -hmm. sure. Ooh. Ooh. Well, she's got a she's got a protector there, but man, yeah, the umpire asks if she's okay. We'll charge this other phone number. Not even 30 yards from the woods over here, and you're hearing all kinds of wildlife. <laughs> wildlife, yes, sir. <laughs> Woodpecker earlier. That's right. That's right. Three, two. One out. Runners on second and third. Oh. But we got to protect on that third strike. Yeah, and, gotta, and yeah, I get it. You know, she probably felt like it was a little inside. But like you said, you've got to protect on that on that third strike. You can't leave it up to the umpire to make that decision. No, no. And it, and it was it was right there. I mean, it was it was a strike. It's kind of what I do when I play. Is it? Strike out? No, don't say that. Don't do that to yourself. Oh, high oh. chopper out of play. And I don't think it ever landed. <laughs> I never heard it. You wait for the thump <laughs> and then turn around to see which vehicle. There's an eagle that uh, caught that one midair. Yeah. Took off with that. Oh. Slow chomper. Oh. Yeah, it lost it on the – that's tough, though. Mm -hmm. Hey, the ball's wet. I mean, it, it's hard. It really is. Honestly, I, I don't know that it would have mattered. I, I think she'd probably been there anyways, honestly. But you know – that ball hitting that wet grass and then trying to make that transfer from the glove oh, to hand. And geez. Well, and there's so there's a couple of thoughts with that, too. If you just get up and just chunk it and don't have a good grip, well, that may be worse than throwing, throwing it, it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Worse than holding it. Yes, yeah. Sir. Or, sorry, worse than holding it. So there's a couple ways to look at that. No, runner's gone. I think Coach wanted to go on the first, first pitch. Thing, yes, sir. <laughs> I saw the, what do you do? Where are you at? <laughs> If you want to get that stare from Coach, uh, miss <laughs> miss the signals, and that'll definitely do it. Right. Good pitch on the inside corner. Molly Jane's up at the plate. Two and ones account. She cracked one earlier, and that went foul. Mm -hmm. But man, she hammered that thing. Makes count. No. The contrast of colors at the high yellow socks versus the high red socks. Mm -hmm. In county teams here. Ball. Oh, he said ball, yeah. <laughs> She's like, hang on a second, what? <laughs> a little inside, I think. Did I hear you right? This is Riley Remus. Oh, I didn't even see it. Sorry, that's my fault. I should have looked. No, you're all right. Bases yes. loaded for. You're right, Riley Remus, Junior Cats, Lady Cats, ball one, ball high, inside. Yeah, it was definitely high and tight there. She's got one of her uh, batting gloves undone. <laughs> is that kind of a thing, or is that just a? No, <laughs> maybe just her style. That could be. That was ball three. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't have anywhere to put them here. Uh. Last thing I want to do, I'm sure it's going to be a red light here if I had to guess. Mm -hmm. Comes the pitch in the dirt. That'll score a run for the Bobcats. That'll be the fifth run of the inning. That'll be the end of the inning. She trots down to touch first to 
end the inning. Now there's a is there is there any is there any time uh, situation? There is a time, yes. There's time in the junior high game. Okay. But they have to get say out something and about it before get prepared. I think they're saying it's past the time limit, but I don't know if they mentioned anything. So the umpire's going to talk it over here. Um, well, there's always a deal if you get up, get a batter up to the plate before the time limit. Gotcha. Well, I, th I think we're going to uh, appear we're going to according to we're not taking the field, but Pickett taking the hitting zone. Warm up circle. Yeah, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna play on. We may be past the time limit, but uh, huh? Yeah, they got two minutes. And oh, okay. As a rule, you can't start it before if it's under a certain amount of time. Maybe no. I mean, it, it goes to the time limit. Okay. But like I said, uh, you've got to have yeah. now. If Pickett had del just kind of delayed here and not got a batter up, why? Gotcha. So after the two minutes is passed, it's over? I think they were trying to see when it started exactly so that to get that time. I, I seen a coach over there talking to somebody, so maybe that was part of the discussion. You know, when, when did we actually start? What time did we actually start this thing? Yeah, Micah Joe here, she's a basketballer and a softballer. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of everything. Yeah, yeah multi-sport athlete. Yeah. A little bit better at basketball than I am softball, though. You think so? Yeah, I think so. She she likes basketball. She she likes basketball better. Yeah. That's that's how I, was. I played. I played a lot of sports too. I always had football was kind of my favorite one, but um, it just seemed like I spent more time working on it though. You know. I love playing you know? football. It's it's tough when you play multiple. Obviously, to spend a lot of time focused on one of them or whatever, but you can't really deviate all that time between all of them. So no. you got to kind of pick one. But um, I think it's great that you're playing more than one though. I think it's awesome. I play football at school. There you go. See, <laughs> you're probably good at that too, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> I it's like just it. Sad that we don't get to tackle at school. Well, hey, it could be an accident. Yeah. It could be an accident. A little bump. <laughs> a little friendly bump. A little shoulder bump. Yeah. Speaking of football, I talked to Coach Shelton today, and of course, the next sport will be. We'll go through the summer, and then we'll have football coming up next yes, year. Sir. Bobcats were extremely good last year. Yes, sir. Went uh, to state. Yeah, right. state championship mm -hmm. game. Darn near, honestly, darn near won that thing mm -hmm. and uh, returned a lot of key players this year. Um, they're going to Tunica, Mississippi this year. Really? To play a game. They're playing the uh, reigning state champions over there in Mississippi. How about that? Yeah. Um, coach uh, scheduling a game like that. And then uh, Mariana Lee, who's extremely good as well. Um, non conference. So do hey, a little bit of traveling this year. You know, we, we was talking about. Corning being lucky to have CSR. I mean, uh, what about little old town of Corning having two coaches that are in two Hall of Fame? That's wild. That, I mean, seriously, I said that the other night. Um, we had a, oh, uh, whatever you call it, the hype. Uh, Video? Yeah, we had a little hype deal that we did over here, like a pep rally, community pep rally. And I was sitting there thinking, like, holy smokes, we do, because we got mm -hmm. Coach Songer uh, and Coach Shelton. And both. Both in different states in, in a small community. Like, What's the chances mm -hmm. of that? That is wild. Um, that really, really is. So that just speaks volumes about uh, uh, the, the jobs here, the people here, the obviously administration. Count one and two. Chopped it back off the plate and foul. Well, well this is Tompkins, I believe. Yep, the pitcher. pitcher. Yeah. But yeah, it's a little old corning here. Got the two <laughs> Hall of Fame coaches. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool, and we. Of course, we had another Hall of Fame coach that was here in football one time, Don Campbell. Yes, sir. Arkansas State Hall of Fame. God rest his soul. Miss that guy. He loved Corning, too, yeah, even too. to the yes. day, yes, day he died. I just uh, We talked to him probably once or twice a week and uh, always spoke highly of Corning. In fact, he said if his wife would, had still been alive, he'd, that's probably where he'd be living mm -hmm. this Corning. And of course, he had cancer, so he got a little closer to his cancer doctors yes, there sir. in Bologna. But, um, 
I'll be in the Hall of Fame when I go play for Iowa. There you go. I like it. I like it. I like the confidence, kiddo. I got to tell everybody, uh, if you want to be an overachiever, you got to first be an overbeliever. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. I always tell those girls, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody will. That's right. That's exactly right. Hey, I mean, and if somebody laughs at you, so be it. That's that's on them. I mean, that's it. you got to have that confidence and, and you know, uh, crazy things happen all the time. And I tell you what, somebody's got to get to that point, so why not you? you know? Oh, yeah. You could almost see the track here from home yeah. to mm -hmm. pitcher's mound. Where they've been walking to yeah. get the ball or covering yeah. the base. Yeah. I feel bad for them girls that have white cleats on. Strike. Good pitch. Boy, she went right at her there. She's going to be out number two, I believe. I tell you what, so far, a really good start to this inning for the Bobcats. Yeah. Is that one out or two? That shows one. 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 Okay. Because <clears throat> I'm pretty sure, yeah, that was a pitcher. Ah. Uh. Over, over the there. pitcher. She's like, really? <laughs> she gave her a look. <laughs> she definitely gave her a look, I promise you. Oopsies. <laughs> She's like, now. Ball. <laughs> she didn't roll it right at her. She rolled it to the side just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Beck. Uh, that's great. Speaking of state champs, the little blonde here, she's state champ in karate. That's wild. That is awesome. Eight and under. Congratulations to you, kiddo. That is awesome. Thanks. 2022 and 2023. That is fantastic. Man. You no, know, it's just fun beating people. Yeah. Is that what it, now, now, do you, now do you practice do you practice on our man Mike here well, at home? Yeah, Don't she you? did. But, <laughs> but she give up karate for, uh, I hated it, but she give it up for basketball and softball. Yeah, yeah. Well, basket, I think basketball is more my thing. You know, that, that's tough when you're parents. you got kids doing so many different sports. Of course, you get a full-time job. You got, um, there's just so much to it. Full-time job and then all these kids. You know, Gracie's playing multiple high school sports. Yeah, yeah. Mike and Joe's playing multiple travel sports. And His full-time job is being my dad. Nora. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a job in itself, right? Yeah. <laughs> Nora, um, Nora's doing competitive gymnastics, so we have uh, – we're, we're on the road – yeah, six days a week, You're pretty well. Pounding the asphalt, mm. yeah, twenty four seven. That that's good though. It's good that you guys uh, allow them to do all that. And, she gets uh, I think that's uh, I think that's awesome. Of course, the kids, the more active they are, the better it is for them. I think oh, too. Yeah. You know, keep them out of trouble. Yeah, learn a lot more, get more friends that way too, and see more of the world a little bit as well, more oh, of the yeah. state. I mean, gosh, I didn't know uh, Arkansas had hills till I was about eleven years old. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> I was like, this is Arkansas. I went to Little Rock. I was like, what? This is Arkansas? Yeah. This is Grace's friend, Peyton. No. Ooh. Peyton's on the senior high team. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's still about through her out. <laughs> now, maybe she wasn't running as hard because she thought it was a you know easy, easy base. Easy base. Man. Yeah. yeah, ball's really getting. The rain has, hands, it just now. went from a drizzle to Counted. steady. I mean, just. Yeah. Doug said rain is good for the farmers. Hey, there you go. Yep. Amen. What happened? I couldn't see. She fell down. She actually slipped and fell down. Let's watch this. She actually grounded it perfect. She came up to throw. Watch this. Gets it right there and oh. just slips right on her mm. Now, she could have tried to force the throw to first, but again, again she, better to hold on yep. to that one. That was actually smart. Yep. So they got the first batter out and the next two reach. Pass ball. She's going to fire the third. Oh, oh off the, oh, off the, and that saved a run. Yes, it did. The yes, coach gets did. the assist for saving a run. If that gets by him, that's at least one, maybe two, two runs. Run, yeah. yeah. And you know he's feeling it too. Yeah. Yeah, that was right on the side of the kneecap. Whew. Man, I hurt for him. Mm -hmm. That would be pain to you, Dad. And we usually don't have a lot of sympathy for Piggy people, but I, I do now. I do now, <laughs> yes, sir, for real. This one time. That's just one time. That's, that's all you get. But, man, that actually did work out really well for us, though, there. Yes. Two and O was a count. There we go. Two and one. Uh, that'll wait the battle back. We need these two outs and wrap this thing up, get in the dry, and go that's home. That's right, Bogollins. I like that. I like your thinking there. On 7.30 at night, we started this at, uh, what we start, 4.30 today? No, 4 o'clock today. We four, started at 4 o'clock yes. today, that's right. You and Rich started at 4. I was that's a little right. late. That's okay. That's Dead okay. ball. 
Yeah, at 4 o'clock. Going to have the bases loaded. 4 o'clock, I was at ba basketball practice to coach us. So you've got your tying run coming to the plate here. Mm -hmm. got bases loaded. Now I know you're thinking, well, wow. but Corning has scored every inning, but you just never know, man. It, oh, no. Mm -hmm. You don't want to chance it here. You don't want to take it for granted. Yeah. Especially if they come back and tie this thing or even go ahead, they're going to have a lot of confidence with a chance mm -hmm. to win this thing. And weather kind of deteriorating, it seems. Yeah. Let's hope we can stick out with a win. Got to strike. Keep them back. I think Coach wants to save that run. I think he's more worried about instead of an out and getting the run out here, he's got the infield really in right now. Mm -hmm. If it's hit on the ground, anywhere in the infield, they're going home, you can tell. Yeah. Strike two. <laughs> tell you what, nine's hitting herself there. That one was in the dirt, and she really wanted it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get that big moment, bases loaded, chance to do something, you get a little too over antsy. Mm -hmm. You're swinging out of your shoes, you're swinging Wanting at stuff. It too bad. Yeah, yeah, you're trying, trying a little too hard, believe it or not. One time I, I kicked up dirt with my bat. <laughs> Strike three. What a pitch. She's out. Good pitch. Good that was pitch. huge. We need one more out. That was huge. Hey, how about Jolie Kennedy going the distance here? Started and finished yeah, so yeah, far in this yeah. weather. And well, not only that, but, I mean, look, she had a really rough start. Ooh. And I didn't know if Coach would leave her in there. I really didn't. But he did. Credit Ooh. him. Uh, battled back. Lasting had a rough inning. Battled back. She's going to get a new softball. Umpire's done a great job tonight as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Base is loaded here. This rain is not helping my sinuses. <laughs> yeah. That wind isn't either. Gets away. Nice Runners are going to stay. Runners not even thinking about going here. They're going to wait till they have a clear path. Which of course, the last thing you'd want to do is get the third out. Yeah. Um, you know, if, if you were run number 14, that might be different. different but when you're yeah. run number 11 mm -hmm. and then the, there's bases loaded, I, yeah, that's a good call there. Just hang on. Yep. Until you have a clear path. 2-0. Listen, nowhere to put this lady. Base is juiced here. Ball three. I tell you now, you, you almost do this. You, you take some off. I don't even care if, if you lob it in there. Whatever you got to do, just throw a yep. strike at this point. Her yo's are counts. Jolie asking for a new ball. Yeah. Asking for the secret ball. This is a weighted <laughs> ball. <laughs> <laughs> It's the dry ball. Uh, yeah, special mark on it. If the bat breaks, we know it wasn't a joke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, get that thing in there. Oh. Well, tack on a run for the Lady Mohawks, 14-11. Tell you what, we need just, just one more out here. You got some speed on third right now, too, so a ball that gets passed, now you got to really, really watch. And now... All of a sudden, your tying run is at first. It's on board, and the go-ahead's at home now, at bat. A little high and outside. Hoping we can keep him back. Got my daily or weekly reminder to take the trash out. <laughs> my wife has to put that on my phone literally every week. Every week, yeah. yeah. Have fun doing that. A little high. Hey, she's... Too in there, off. just a little high. At least we're not bowling, right. bowling it up there this time, yeah. No Two pass balls. balls. Two, no. Two outs. We need a final out here. Come on. A little outside. Now the infield actually is kind of playing a normal depth again. Well, that last at bat, they were way in. I'm playing for a new travel softball team. You are? Very good. What's it? What are they called? Strikers. Strikers. Do you pitch ever? Uh, no, I haven't. Yeah, okay. I played third. I got my first five stops in one inning. Whoa! So if you're playing for a team called Strikers, you better throw some strikes. <laughs> yeah. Fourteen to twelve. Speaking of strikes, we could use a few here. Yes, sir. Three. And I think Pig and I, I'll be honest. I think their coach is just saying, "Hey, take until you get a strike, or even two at this point." Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gotta hold it back. I need you. There it oh, is. Oh, oh, catch, good catch. buddy. Catch. Yes. She got it. Great job. That second big time catch there against the elements. 
And I believe that'll be the ball game. game. Yes, sir. Congratulations to the Lady Bobcats on a 14 to 12. Yeah, on a big win there, junior high and senior high. Well, how's was a fun day in, yep. in the elements. Yeah, yes, sir. Appreciate you know, it wasn't too bad till right here at the end. It started yeah. getting chilly. Yeah, it mm -hmm. got a little chilly. Yeah, yeah. We had some wind coming this way. It's a wind coming this mm -hmm. way. Uh, rain, of course, would follow it, but. Um, all in all, we got the stream in. That's the biggest thing. Got the stream in for the got people. Got the games in. Yeah. These are always uh, documented. They're always on demand 24-7. You can go back and rewatch them uh, anytime. Mike, anything you want to say before we uh, get off here, buddy? No, just a great day to be a Bobcat. That's right, my man. I like it. Appreciate yep. you. We'll, we'll do this, Jake. That's right. I yes. appreciate you, buddy. That's Mike Towns. I appreciate Rich Martin. Uh, Colton Luddyman back home. Um, oh, real quick. Um, girls, I believe y'all play Monday. Is that right? In the district. <laughs> Monday, I think at districts. Play Thursday, well, I know y'all. Yes. Play Thursday and Friday. Yes, but in districts, I believe it's Monday. I don't know. I may be wrong. Yeah, I think that's right. Monday. Um, we still have two more games. We'll have se actually Thursday. We'll have Senior Day here, and we'll mm -hmm. have Senior Day at baseball. Um, we'd love to see you here. Love to have you here. What's Monday. The twenty second. Yeah, it's, it, I think it's got to be Monday. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, so, again, we will have two games Thursday, one here, one over there. Um, will you be able to help out Thursday? Yes, sir. Okay, awesome. So, Mike and Rich will be here Thursday. I'll be over there at baseball Thursday. Friday, we have softball here uh, again. And then Monday is whenever we have um, the – district tournament we're gonna to try to go to Gosnell. We'll i mean try to do you're gonna be there right yes sir so yes. rich is gonna be there we're gonna to try to make it happen uh we'll yeah. definitely see I, obviously i gotta call them first make sure they're okay with it uh, we don't just show up to somebody's place and expect to be streaming so i'll do that first and i'll call lewis uh, he's a nice guy he's always been nice to us i don't think he'll have a problem with that but you never know um for everybody at csr i want to say thanks to all of our staff all the po uh, folks that jumped in today and helped us out with names and rosters and stuff thank you and coaches names and stuff uh, congratulations to our Lady Bobcats and our Lady Junior High Bobcats as well. And we will see you guys Thursday. And to everyone, good night. God bless. And as always, go Cats. I wish him and Shannon the best of luck. Uh, they're expecting a newborn baby not too long down the road. Congratulations, guys. And uh, we also appreciate your continued support, uh, not just with us here at CSR. We also recognize you guys support the town, the community. Uh, they're big in certain events there in the community as well, so we really do appreciate that. But again, let's give it up for Zach Brown Farms on the road to success. They would wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. Thank you to Goodman Drug Company out of Corning, Arkansas. Yet again, a CSR sponsor, and we sure do appreciate Miss Kathy Goodman, the owner operator there. Hey, Goodman Drug Company, serving Clay County since 2011. They are more than just a pharmacy. They are a family. As a locally owned independent pharmacy, they are able to provide their patients with the personalized health care experience they deserve. Get hold of them, 870-857-0551. Miss Kathy and everyone at Goodman Drug wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the season. One of the most humble and smartest men that I know, Mr. John Selig. I want to say thank you to him and his company, Civil Engineering Associates. That he works for there in Jonesboro, Arkansas, and also a branch in Poplar Bluff, Missouri as well. Uh, John's been great to us here at CSR. His company is sponsors every year, and we can't say thank you enough. Hey, if you need to get a hold of them, though, 870-972-5316 out of Jonesboro, or maybe a little bit closer, maybe you're in the boot hill, you want to call the Poplar Bluff branch, 573-686-2488. That's Civil Engineering Associates. Want to wish the Bobcast the best of luck. Let's get up for another Corning product here. Mike Townsend Farms LLC, right there on the outskirts of Corning. You call, we haul. That's his slogan. And he hauls some heavy, heavy, heavy equipment, all kinds of different stuff. And if you're curious of what all he hauls, give him a call, 870-926-2192. Also want to wish him and future Miss Townsend there uh, the best of luck and tell him congratulations on the engagement. That's Mike Townsend Farms LLC. Go Bobcats. Everybody at Corning Sports Support wants to say thank you so much to everybody at Watson Oil Company right here in beautiful Crown Free Corning, Arkansas. Uh, obviously a fuel supplier here in Corning, but but more than that, especially to us, they have been behind us 100% from day one, and we really, really do appreciate it. Uh, I love the family photo, too. That's awesome. 
uh, tight-knit group there. And I see some athletes in that photo, too. Hey, you can find them at 406 Southeast 1st Street, right across the tracks there in Corning, Arkansas. Or get a hold of them at 870-857-6366. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Hey, these folks are some big, big-time Razorback fans. That's not the only reason why I love them, but they're also huge Corning Bobcat fans. Let's give it up for Woolard Farms. Nathan, Jennifer, Josie, Dylan, and Ashley, thank you guys for all y'all do, not just for the city of Corning and, of course, Corning High School, uh, Corning Bobcat Athletics, but also us here at CSRU.